<laughs> Wait, do you know who the starter for the Colts is? You uh, got this. You got yeah, this. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, because the way this. that you I said just, that. Come on, Billy. Come no, on, I Billy. blanked. I you blanked. Got this. <laughs> uh, freaking Falcons. Yeah. Yep. 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 Falcons. Falcons. That the kid from I the know, Falcons. I know, but I just blanked. He went to high school in Philadelphia. He went to BC. Yep. Uh, no, Matty Ice. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go, Billy. There we go. You had it. You had it. On today's part of my take, football is back, and we have our good friend Julian Edelman in studio talk about Thursday Night Football, the 2022 football season that's upon us. We also are going to do our picks, uh, Fantasy Fuckboys. We have to figure out what the punishment is going to be for our picks, which we discuss. And Firefest of the Week is brought to you by our friends at Muggsy's. Muggsy's are the most comfortable men's jeans on the planet, built with a proprietary stretch denim. These jeans look stylish but feel like you're wearing sweatpants. I own a ton of Muggsy jeans, multiple colors. We'll get to that later. Multiple same colors. Uh, the most damn comfortable jeans around. Muggsy's are the stretch jean for men. We were the first to do this for men. And Muggsy removed excess fabric that normally hangs off you for a fit that just looks good. It's more room for your balls. Never too baggy. Never too skinny. Always just right. Do your legs a favor. Head on over to Muggsy.com. To pick up a pair of the most comfortable clothes ever worn, that's Muggsy.com for 10% off your entire order using promo code TAKE. Muggsy.com, the most comfortable jeans in the world, promo code TAKE. Okay, let's go. Welcome to part of my take presented by Muggsy. Go to Muggsy.com for 10% off your entire order using promo code TAKE. Today is Friday, September 9th, and football is back, and also the queen is dead. R.I.P. Lizzie. Lizzie Bloodclot. Uh, she was a huge AWL. She was. Actually, we were talking about that. She was a... a an AWL six times, not seven times. She got real mad when we had Fauci on. So yeah. she was like, you guys went woke. And then she came back after years. They all come And she back. did win. She Thankfully, you know, before she passed, she won a takey this year for uh, a live person of the year. Whoops. Uh, but listen, we're going to miss her. It's sad that she died right before the first fantasy fuckboys because I know that was her favorite. Yeah, well, it, you bring up a good point. What if you're in a fantasy league with the queen yeah. and she dies right before the season starts? You've already had the draft. What do you do with her players? Ghost owner. You you go go. You don't distribute you them. You go ghost owner. It's definitely let, di roll it out. It's definitely dynasty mode though, yeah, right? You just let it roll. I yeah. I don't know. I feel like you have to redistribute that. I don't know <laughs> what, what the protocols are. Jules, Julian, did, do you know? Did you, were you a fan of the queen? Actually, I did like the queen, but I, I would think that she'd have like someone in line to take over for that. Yeah. The fantasy, yeah. yeah, like a fantasy. It's king. that big dude. It's the out. It's, it's Chungus, the, the absolute yeah, unit Chungus, guy. Yeah, yeah. But I, I always had a weird infatuation with English culture, and then I started watching The Crown. Yeah, and like, I am a little sad. Everyone like princes die. Uh, well, if you like you know, Princess Di, if the and queen you like didn't. the Queen, like that, those yeah. kind of compete against. That's each like day. being a being a yeah. Bills and Patriots fan. Yeah. I, I, really I like work. the Bills right now too. Yeah, I, mean, I okay. guess I'm contradicting. But the Bills, the Patriots didn't. Well, actually, they kind of have, metaphorically speaking, like rammed them off the road in a tunnel, killed them. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's you know, anytime anyone dies, it's it's sad. Yeah, is it anyone? Anyone? Like what about the I H mean, man? You know, you know where I'm going to go with this? Yeah, the H man. That was a good one. Good death. Which one's H? Well, what about Bin Laden? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got the H man. Yeah, uh, I mean, th yeah. Those, are, those are those are those are good deaths. Okay, yeah. that was Queen talk. Let's talk football. Let's talk football. Because I'm a football. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking. I don't we, know what to you, do with that. Well, you had to know. Like, I, I would. You probably. I wore black for it. Yeah, you weren't paying attention to the news, but the minute the Queen passed, I was like, "Well, Jules is coming in. We're gonna make the first three minutes of the show very uncomfortable for him." Do you think the Queen had that dog in her? <laughs> Oh yeah, Definitely. corgis. She, she owned like seventy five corgis. Yeah, she well, she had many dogs. What happens? Yeah. My big questions are what happens to the dogs, and then what happens to every mute swan? Because the queen technically owns every mute swan in the world. Yeah, Does and it's a, it's a real thing. Yeah, if so, they could talk, they would cry. If what is see, a mute swan? It's the the swan with like the orange bill. So if they you can't, they if, can't talk. If you happen to see a mute swan, just pick it up. It's a free for all. Yep. It, until there's a new king, it's it is literally uh, you know all you can swan. Yep. Just grab and go. Yeah. So King Chuck now? Chuck's the king? Yeah, King Chuck. You think so? Yeah. 
All right, let's talk football. Be. Yeah, let's talk football. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, Bills, incredible, Oof. incredible performance week Oof. one. Even – actually, I should say, they, they kind of whomped the Rams, won by 21, and they had three turnovers – four turnovers, and they, they won by 21. They, that was a whomping. They, they whomped them, and that, that's – that's got that's got to be a terrible feeling for the Rams, to to lower a banner, have all the Super Bowl f- like fun afterwards, and then you, know, you play a team like the Bills and they come out and whoop you on your own turf. And they're hungry. And they're hungry. Yeah. I mean that, that, that's a good sign for the Bills. They looked great. I mean those turnovers, those were terrible, but. Well, I mean, the, the interception that Josh threw, the first one, that's not really his fault. That was just. I, I, I thought the I thought the receiver could have came downhill. Like he like stopped his route, and it kind of messed up the quarterback. Usually on those, it looked like it was one funnel, which there's a rat, a guy that drops in, and he has the middle of the field. And once the guy clears the mm-hmm. rat it, with the man coverage guy on him, then he's got to run flat to downhill and stay on the gas. And he kind of slowed up. Yeah. If it was man, I mean that that was that was not really his fault. I mean then the. You saw the the DB undercut it, and that's like a quarterback's nightmare. So it really wasn't his fault. It was bad football, which it, they're going to learn from that. There's yeah. going to be some mistakes in opening day, and, and like what impressed me the most was their defensive line play. Those two big guys in the middle of the the, the line they, for the Bills were unreal. They, What's his name? Uh, Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver, and yeah. then who was? The, the other one? They sacked him seven times. Vaughn Sa- Miller had a great game. Vaughn Miller had great signing. That's that looks if he stays healthy, I mean, that could be a huge part of them later in the season where they didn't get any pass rush back in yeah. I think, you know, last I, year. I, I, I think you're think, talking about Jordan Phillips. Phillips. Maybe? Phillips. Yeah. yeah. Phillips. He had a one and a half sacks. It's, they were all over him. It's like it's both it's a combination of two things. One They didn't blitz that much but, either. No. no, they didn't at all. I don't think they yeah. blitzed a single time in the first half. But everyone. the the Bills defensive line looked awesome. At the same time, I think we can say the Rams offensive line sucks right now. And not and not good at all. Whitworth, Stafford, Whitworth gone is gonna hurt them. Yeah. yeah. And Stafford, I I mean, we were noticing it, but like his throwing motion looked kind of jacked up. So there was I think everyone knew that he had a surgery over the over the off season. But there was a report today that he, you know, had the elbow surgery. It was classic I, Schefter. Yeah, because that Schefter, re- that yeah. report came out six months ago, right. and then Schefter reported it today as if it was brand new. It's like, no, Adam, we all knew this, but yeah. he was reporting it just to say he's fine because right. Stafford's agent told him to let everybody know that he's right. Fine. But the the weird the weird quote that uh, I somehow missed because it was an old quote, but in Schefter's report. Sean McVay referred to it as a little abnormal for a quarterback. That doesn't sound good when you're when you have a, a elbow injury, injury and they're like, yeah, that's not a quarterback injury. And you know, Jules, like I love whenever uh, there's a report like, oh yeah, Matt Stafford had minor surgery for his elbow. There is no minor surgery. You don't like getting cut, especially with with Matt Stafford. That's his strength is that arm. Yeah, I mean that's that's his. What touched him by God was that arm, and you saw him dropping that elbow. He's always had that kind of three quarter motion throw, but like you can get away with that when you're healthy. Mm-hmm. Now that he's got something going on in his elbow that everyone's talking about, I mean, you saw uh, throws, you know, they sailed on him, so, and that's usually from a you know an elbow problem or something like that. He had a couple missed throws that you're like, mm. the interception he threw in the first the first quarter, he threw it behind the receiver, yeah. and that's timing. And that's another thing was is rest first rush. That's your whole thing. They didn't play any of their starters in the preseason. They didn't look very sharp. So are you? I, so I always assumed that that argument is just you just play the results because if guys come out and look fresh, they're like, well, they're that's because they didn't play in the preseason. So are you, play, I, the Bills played in the preseason. But do you think you saw Josh a, Josh Allen go out and lead his team to touchdown drives every time he was out there? He looked very comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. That, the game looked slow to him, and that's because he's prepared. I, I don't know. It's it, different with a lot of teams. From, yeah, from your perspective, like, would you if you didn't play? Did you need the preseason to I get ready? It. It's 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 just a it's a they called it like a dress rehearsal. You get to have your football operations. You get to go over your routine after a drive. You know, working on the whiteboards, like in a game environment. You get to, it's it's a big thing. Like getting up. Where's the fucking play clocks? Let's look at like let's get our pregame 
uh, meal situated. Let's get our shit schedule situated. Let's go through this thing because everything on game day needs to be fucking flawless. Right. You work so goddamn fucking hard all week. You you practice your ass off. You're in all these long ass meetings. They're fucking boring to perform for three hours on Sunday. So everything has to be pristine. So I was always a fan of of getting a, a you know a good couple series three maybe a half they, they threw us in a half once we weren't performing back in new england uh in i think it was like 16 or something like we weren't playing good and they, they wanted to see us play well and we needed to feel that because that that builds your confidence i like it you I don't mean, think I, yeah. about that much but it's like on game day you stretch lines you where the fuck are you going for stretch lines yeah you can't have you need to have that you yeah. can't have any wasted minutes can't you have to be like in a rhythm to get everything done that you have to get done and if you don't practice just going through the motions earlier like I, w from our perspective we're like oh they probably need to get some reps in, in the game which i'm sure would help too right yeah. but there's a lot more that goes a into lot it. more it's yeah the operation of just game day operation that you need to feel because once it hits you in the regular season there's a lot of shit that's going on oh fuck i gotta get my ankles taped oh i gotta get my massage oh i gotta get my dynamic warm-up in oh i gotta go do this oh right, now i gotta go eat i gotta get electrolytes in there's so many little things that you have to take care of and then you know, God forbid you come into week one and, and you're fucked up mentally because you didn't get your ankle taped the right way. Then that can affect you. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, I'm things. a I'm a preseason believer now. You you you've changed you need, me. You need to feel a little. I like it. I liked it. That's what I was around. You know, getting out there and it it always made my confidence high when you get to use your fucking shit that you worked on all training camp and you get a lot of that in these joint practices. But the game day operation is huge. Yeah. So the other thing I, w I was wondering from this game, and I think we all agreed on it watching it, Josh Allen running is incredible, but also scary, incredibly scary. Terrifying. Like I don't know, I don't know what it, there were a couple times like, what are they doing? Why? I know he's such a weapon, but it's also like. Well, I'm just I, so scared for him, and all the time. I saw it firsthand when he got, he's gotten knocked out before. When he and he had it was a very similar situation where he's shrugging a guy off, and it's not about the guy he's shrugging off. It's about the two dudes pursuing in full speed, trying to torpedo your head off. I remember when Jay Jones lit him up, mm -hmm. you know, a few years back, and, and he's gotten smarter and and he's a really balanced football player. But you know, he's he's that team. If he goes down. Yeah. The, the bills ain't I, yeah, the I bills think, aren't the bills i think part of it is he's just bigger and stronger and faster than yeah, everyone, but, but he's like i can just run i mean he that stiff army through that was derrick henry-esque yeah but derrick henry's gotten hurt yeah no it's true yeah, you so, know what i mean like and it's not even just the the physical it's not even you know he twists his ankle wrong he, he gets piled up you know like the ankle twists like when he's when he's flinging these guys off he's got so much pressure going into those joints like no you know, I, I love seeing it, and it, that's the football player he is. He's a tough, fiery guy, and you love seeing that from your quarterback, but it's a it's a double-edged sword. We can't be fucking redlining that bad boy. We can't get him hurt. That's the franchise. Yeah, yeah, so the coaches have tried to work with him this preseason. They've tried to get it through, like, okay, you need to fall down. You need to know when to slide, when to get out of bounds. I think he'll figure it out. If they don't, I don't know, they'll have he to will. do, like, a squirt gun, like when the cat gets on a table situation, just, like, immediate negative reinforcement for him. But I actually think that today – he was doing it for a much different reason. I think he had an actual personal axe to grind with certain players on the Rams. I think Jalen Ramsey in particular, you remember the quote from Jalen Ramsey? I have it right when here. When he, he said, I think yeah. Josh Allen is trash. I don't care what nobody say, he's trash, and it's going to show too. That's a stupid draft pick to me. We play them this year. I'm excited as hell. I hope he's their starting quarterback. He played at Wyoming. So that was when wow. he was at the Jaguars. That's when he was when he on the did, Jaguars. He did but the GQ piece that he, basically just ripped into everyone. Yeah, but, but he still said that, and Josh Allen was pissed, and he was looking to run people over. And on that one play, he lands on top of Jalen Ramsey, and then he starts fucking his face. Yeah, he humped him. He skull fucked him on yeah. the ground underneath the pile, and Jalen took exception to that. And then Josh was like, I don't care. I'm going to smile on your face. And then he hit that bomb over his head to Diggs. To Diggs. Diggs. Yeah. And then Diggs got in Ramsey's face. Yeah. Tough night. To be Jalen Ramsey, he got cooked. Hey man, when you when you talk, you know you better you got to walk, and you know that's that's cornerbacks are that's they got to do that sometimes to psych themselves up, and or I'm not saying that's with Ramsey, but they have a swagger about them. They really are that confident of guys. That's just the the makeup of that position, and and it, when you talk, and you go out and you get toasted. A couple times, that's that's a part of talking. You're, people are gonna say, "Hey, man, you know that's that's." Did you ever accidentally talk? Did you ever say something and and was like, "Oh fuck, I shouldn't have said that." 
Like I gave them motivation because I know you nah. guys played so buttoned up. No, nah, we we would always pump our competition. That's like one thing. Like, yeah, we'd be playing like the fucking like the shitty like the Jaguars when they weren't the Jaguars, and Bill would be pumping this team up like they were like the '85 Bears on defense. I'm like, what the fuck? He does that with quarterbacks you all know, the time. All, like, it, that guy is a really great but, quarterback. It's like, who are you talking about? You know, it doesn't it Cole doesn't McCoy? give him bull. It, you don't give him bulletin board material. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. You yeah, know, and that's I'm I'm not about that. I, well, now, if, on the flip side, would you actually like see bulletin board material and get more motivated? Like, would you get yeah. so pumped up? A little bit. Little well, bit. You're a dog. I, I would a little bit. Yeah. You say then, of course, we say, oh, we don't care. We're, we're worried about the game plan. But fuck yeah, yeah. We, with the like the Legion of Boom when we go into that Super Bowl and they're like, who's the, who's their starting receivers and stuff like that. You take that personal. Yeah. Yeah. Would fuck you do that? Would you do like specific media training before each week? Like knowing the certain questions you were going to be asked, <laughs> no, but but you would hear like, let's just stay away from this. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, and then we would have we'd have like a guy that the guy who uh, I won't say his name, but he he was one of the people that dealt with the media for the White House during like nine eleven, and he would come talk to You're us. Talking about Ari to- Fleischer. <laughs> And he would come okay, yeah. teach yeah. us how, like, how to deflect <laughs> questions yeah. and shit. Ari Fleischer, yeah, he was yeah, pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah, talking about Ari Fleischer. Yeah, he's I mean, doing live tour now, right? Nah, 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 Isn't he? Nah, yeah. Did you ever ask him about Iraq? Like, I did. Nah, what was up like, with where that? Where were those? Yeah. Where they, they weren't. You guys knew those weren't. They weren't really. there, right? Like, why not Saudi Arabia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a football show. <laughs> it's a fo- All right, I have two more questions about this game. And then I want to I talk about some other teams. Um, so, overreaction, Bills are Super Bowl champs. And the Rams, you said the Rams were in trouble. I, I'm i trying this year not to overreact to everything. I do think the Bills looked incredible, and they're obviously, uh, you know, I was on favorites. But the Rams, yeah. like, do you think that's actually, uh-oh, the Rams are in trouble? Or, hey, it's week one. They probably should have played a little preseason. They'll be fine. Uh, they didn't look good. They didn't have really any any rhythm on offense. You saw they signed Allen Robinson. He didn't I, – he had he one target. Open, yeah. He had one target in the end of the game. Like, there's a lot of things that you're like, ah, you you don't want to see that after a Super Bowl winning season. Yeah. Like, I remember when we play after a Super Bowl winning season, like, we were on – you'd be on fire. You can't go into this. Like, you're the target. Yeah. Right. You're everyone's Super Bowl. You're the Super Bowl champion. And if you go in, like, they don't – their offensive line didn't play very well. Whitworth, that, that losing Whitworth to retirement, that's going to – that looks like it's going to be hurting them. You know, the elbow of Stafford. Mm-hmm. How's that thing? It didn't look good. It just – it wasn't – the defense didn't look particularly that great. I mean, they got four takeaways, but they still lost 31-10. to 10. These, these are things that – you don't want this stuff to add up at the beginning of the season. I know you're learning your team. I know we're trying to figure out, you know, what works well, what doesn't work well. But when nothing worked well, it, like, they didn't they didn't have anything going. What what what'd they give up on? How much offense, total offense they have? I, I think Stafford ended up with, like, 240 yards. But that, that was, was, like, a lot of that was the end. Yeah, no, he that had, like, 170 yards at the going end. Into garbage those, time. Yeah. And it's and then, cr- the Bills schedule's, like, it's going to be fun because they have a lot of, like, I think they, they play the Titans, they play the Ravens, Steelers, Chiefs, Packers all in the first, like, seven weeks. So mm-hmm. in every game, it feels like they have that chip on their shoulder where, like, we played perfect last year and we didn't win. We got to fucking do it this year. I mean, we got to have the home. I game. mean, if their defense is just slightly better, like point yeah. one percent better than they were last year, then they can win that game. And if they can get and home, if they, they get home, if games. they get home, they got to stay healthy for the Super Bowl. I mean, we saw how they played in Buffalo last year in the playoffs. They played the perfect game against the Patriots. I don't think anyone's ever played a better offensive game than that. Uh, no, they showed that, the stats. First round, they showed they the stats. Josh Allen's perfect. Yeah, they. It was a two games. It was literally a perfect pairing of games. Um, Odell Beckham on the sidelines tonight. He was taking his recruiting trip, his official visit to campus. I guess he's not on the Rams, but they're recruiting him uh, to come to the Rams. They kept his locker set up in the locker room, but they gave away his jersey number. A lot of weird stuff going on there. Who can't, who looks slow. They should give that number back to no one. Yeah. They should vacate that number until such a time that Odell Beckham comes back. But so he was on the sidelines, saw this up close. He goes, sheesh, Bill's Mafia. Damn. On hmm. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Interesting. If you were on uh, those sidelines and you saw that result and you saw Matt Stafford putting his entire body into every throw, trying to overcompensate for a weak elbow and then looking over to the other side of the field and seeing Josh Allen, like you might well, they might have invited you to the wrong they game. Don't, they don't got they don't I don't think 
there's a whole lot of receivers on Buffalo. I don't think they need it. Yeah, but I think Odell. I think what he's going to do, which is very smart, because he's waiting until someone gets hurt. No, he well, he can't on play a right now. Team, right? Like he's still hurt. He's still yeah. rehabbing. I think he should wait till like December and be like, all right, who's the best team? Yeah, I'm in. Not a bad idea. Not a it's bad idea. Smart. Like a very good idea. Like okay, who's who's the best team? Kinda who's like, got the best travel? He's gonna have I'm those in. fresh legs. Yeah, he's only gonna live there back. for two months. You really? I, I saw your face light up. You really think it's a good? It's like we were talking about before we started recording. Like what you're planning on doing this year? Right. Is waiting to see if the if the Buccaneers are gonna be like you know twelve. No, he said the Jets too. If the, the Jets, Jets are good, are, no, yeah. No, no, whoever's in Braxton no, Berrios no, 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 with your shirts off playing Bra- tummy sticks. Braxton, I mean Braxton's buffer than me now. Oh, you're actually conceding. I'm hey. He's a thirst trap god now. He's, he took the mantle. He's he's taken it. Yeah, so are you I, I heard you on Rasilla's show. You were saying like a year off, my body feels good. It does feel good. Yeah. But I it Yeah, I mean I'm not I'm out of shape. Yeah, but yeah, you could but you like, get back into shape. You could get back in shape. Hit the gym. It's not, it, it's not that easy. You did have two plates of Chinese food and a part of my cheesesteak tonight. I saw that. I had a bite of the cheesesteak, which Delicious. was Delicious. pretty good. Yeah. Then I had a piece of Prince. The Prince Street pizza. The yeah. Pizza. I had the vodka, the spicy vodka, Sicilian. F- fabulous. Yeah. I had uh, a little of the Felipe Chow's, I think. Yep. Yeah. Some brownie bites. I didn't actually have one. Oh, you just were you were standing in the kitchen going, mmm, these are so good. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's the difference between you and me. I would just be like, mmm, these are so good. And you couldn't hear me because of the chocolate down my throat. Yeah, and that's the difference between a six pack and a keg. How long, oh, would, it, shit. How long would it take you to get back <laughs> into shape, though? We're talking like... Three weeks? It'd probably take about three three to six. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, three to six. Easy bullet. That's nothing. You ever seen one of these before? <laughs> oh, uh, I think so. Yeah. He, Billy actually Julian got knows this, his way around a needle. Billy got this for, for me, for <laughs> my elbow. That? You know what it is. What is it? Straw? Yeah. Uh, research chemicals. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what it is? I have no clue. <laughs> Do the letters BPC-157 mean anything to you? No, I don't know. What- so Billy accidentally got me. He was trying to get me shit to inject into my arm to make me feel better. He got me powder, so I have to like freebase it. I don't know why he got me a syringe with it. I need to get the sterile water for the injection. What okay. is it? Do you, do you know where to get it's sterile a water? Peptide. <laughs> no. I, it's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing science experiments here. That's Billy ordered these on dangerous. Is what you wanted? He to asked say. for yes, my, it is. He dangerous. asked me for my debit card, which I gave to him, and then like five minutes later, he goes, "Actually, you can just like." Can you just cash app the money to the company? And that's that seems reputable. Cash app? Yeah, I just think yeah. cash app for these chemicals. I mean, so. geez, bro. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I there's not condone this. There's yeah. one other thing we usually ask. We just like ask you to tell us what Tom Brady would say okay. if he were in this room right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so would Tom Brady say like, um, "I wish I got more plastic surgery this off season"? <laughs> I I would say he would probably talk about the TB12 diet or yeah. something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So when you were talking about the Rams missing, you know, not playing eleven days is a long time to be out of preseason, dude. Mass Singer. I I thought it was the Mass Singer. I don't. <laughs> that's what I was hoping it was going to be. It, it still could be. It could be because that's the best part about the Mass Singer. You could, don't know till he takes off the mask. It could be the mask. It I'm be. right here. I think it's the mask. Yeah. Okay. All right. Confirmed. It's Julian mass. Edelman reports mask singer. Definitely the mask. <laughs> yes. singer. Did Did he agree with you that uh, he liked playing in preseason games just to get in that rhythm, or was he a guy that would be like, I he played? Was that because Bill asked him to, or was he because, played like, this he, year he in preseason? It. Tom went out there and he he had a drive. They got him with, with opening drive for three points. Like he likes to play. He want he wants to feel that game day operation as well. I guarantee mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I mean, I'm I like I said, you've changed me to a preseason believer. All right, so you're gonna be. We should mention, uh, Jules has a new podcast out. Oh yeah, games yeah, with yeah. names. I, I should have said that off the top. Sorry, the Queen died. Nice. Um, it's you, he actually pulled me aside. He's like, I know the Queen died, but can you do the pl- podcast plug first? I was like, dude, come on. That's fucking disrespectful. Uh, games with names. I mean, it's out now with Sam. Uh, Mor- M- it's land of the free. How do bro. I say his last name? Morel. 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 Because it's not Moral. spelled yet. Yeah. Morel. He's very funny comedian. Funny. Hilarious dude. Yeah. Um, and PFT and I are on episodes. Yeah. Coming up. Two separate episodes. Yeah. Very very good episodes too. Yeah. PFT did the Caps, Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup game five. And I did uh, game the five. I did TBT uh, Notre Dame versus Barstool, which I had never talked about. Hank was there for that. Never gone in depth. Great episodes coming up, and you also had you had Eli on. Who else? We you had, had Eli. We had Peyton. How would you rank the guests that you've had? Yeah, be honest. Be really honest. Really, it, it's different honest. because no, just give me your power ranking. 
uh, oh, the power ranking is hopefully Tom Brady when he gets on. Oh, you know, that you can't Tom, make that happen. I, I'm trying. He's busy. You know, he, he, well, it's a good thing you didn't talk about his plastic surgery. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we need to get Tom on there. You we know what you to. should do? You should get Tom on there and, and talk about the Eagle Super Bowl. Ooh. That if you want to do numbers, like strictly from a numbers standpoint. People will tune in and listen to misery way more than and, happiness. And on top of that, you can spend the whole time being like, how much would did you miss me on this play? Like, how much did you – if I was on this play, would you have thrown it to me? Yeah, I mean, if he wants to do that game, he'll we'll do any game he wants. Any mm-hmm. game? We'll do a Michigan game maybe. Or yeah, the Orange Bowl against was Alabama. The, uh, Bowl, I think it was yeah. Kid. yeah. The Giants Super Bowl we, where, we where did Welker, with... Welker dropped it, and then you oh. can be like, I would have caught that. Would you have caught that? I mean, you I Wally pro- pipped him. I probably would have caught it. Yeah, I'm not de- gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. definitely would have caught it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I would have caught it. <laughs> okay, so it's me and Big Cat tied for number. <laughs> me and Big Cat tied Love for number West. one. Love West, guys, unbelievable. I would have caught it. <laughs> Where is he? He's coaching now. Where Niners, right? No, yeah, not, Niners. No, Dolphins. 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 He went Dolphins. with McDaniel yeah. down to Miami. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Look at me. I'm great. all up to date on all the moves. You're great, dude. Look we, at you. Week we, one, we baby. We bet horses with him for an entire weekend once. He didn't He's, give us any ecstasy. It sucked. You saw him at the Derby? No, it was at Breeders, but the, the Derby story horse. came out after, and we're like, well, we're squares because we didn't get any ecstasy. Yeah. I, I remember he, he, was, he looked at us and was like, nope, I'm putting my Molly right back in my pocket. <laughs> Not for <laughs> these guys. <laughs> was it Molly? Uh, I don't know. I think, it I was think that's what he was on at the yeah. Kentucky Derby. But, yeah. dude, I mean, that's a good time. I don't judge him at all. Yeah. No, Molly is fantastic to do once and yeah. then never again. At the Derby. Oh, At the Derby. Okay, quick break from Jules to talk about Hooters. Hooters is the home to the Orange Zone, the number one spot for watching football all season long. Every league, every conference, every game, college and pro, Hooters has all the football you can handle. Come in for the wall-to-wall screens, ice-cold beer, our world-famous wings, and, of course, the equally famous Hooters girls. Be sure to score the football bundle, 16 boneless wings, 15 bone-in wings, and curly fries for only $39.99. That's 16 boneless wings, 15 bone-in wings, and curly fries for only $39.99. Football and Hooters, it's the perfect pair. Come watch all games at Hooters all season and visit Hooters.com slash football to learn more. Hooters.com slash football to learn more. Again, Get the football bundle, 16 boneless wings, 15 bone and wings, and curly fries for only $39.99. We love Hooters. We love football. You love the Orange Zone. Get there right now for football season. There's no better deal out there. Uh, all right, let's talk NFL. NFL. So you're on Inside the NFL again. Inside the NFL stream on Paramount Plus, of course. What is it like inside the NFL? Mm-hmm. Smell good? Yeah. Is it warm? <laughs> it's it's nice, nice and warm. Yeah, it's cozy? Very cozy. Moist? Ew. Uh, by the way, a sidebar. <laughs> did you know did you there's? Moist? Did you, have what you guys ever heard of tampon? What a gate? weirdo, huh? Have you guys ever heard of tampon gate? No. There was um, what? Uh, King Charles now, uh, when he was mar- I think he was still married, and, and Camilla, who is now wife, was also married. There was I don't know how they got the phone conversation, but he basically was like, "I want to crawl up inside you, and and like be inside of your vagina." Like a tampon. Yeah, well, that's be- well, how it became tampon. I want, I want to give you toxic ch- I want shock to, like, syndrome live, from yeah. being inside. I want to live inside of your. Do you want to give the body. NFL toxic shock syndrome <laughs> by living inside of it? No, I'm more of a pad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a great answer. Yeah, Heavy flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, right, yeah, yeah. So to talk about the show. What's uh, what, what can we expect this year? Who are you like? Who do you get along with the most on set? You know, I, I get along with everyone pretty well. I, I, I'm a little intimidated by uh, to Ray Lewis still. Uh, he's just an intimidating man. Yeah. Mr. Sims, you know, you get those old grandpa-type jokes from him, and he's always a blast to be around. Michael Irving is just pure energy. Like, yeah. he's just fun. Yeah. You, like, li- love working with him. I, I Half the time, I don't understand him. Uh, Has he started barking yet? I love it when he barks and howls and shit. He's done some crazy shit. <laughs> uh-huh. He's done some crazy shit. And then JB, I mean, he's just a stand-up guy that consummate pro. Consummate. I he, love the show. I mean, I've always he, loved the show. He's 
like he drops like an SAT word to me like every day. I I, can't, I have to like use a, I have to Google it, <laughs> and then I don't even know how to spell it. So like it's it, it's like, like dude, I went to Kent State. Come on, can't read, can't slower. write, Kent State, bro. Like that's what we to, are. He went to Brown, right? He, yeah, he, yeah, no, he went to Harvard. Harvard, Harvard yeah. man. I, yeah, yeah Ivy League smart guy. ass dude. All right, so and then Brandon, Brandon Marsh. Oh yeah, B Marsh, B Marsh, man. Yeah. He's, he's killing it with I am athlete, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've had him on the show. So um. Give us a couple hot takes to take into the NFL season. Couple hot takes. What are you what are you thinking? What's what's the thing that Jules is like? Raiders are winning the AFC West. Okay, that's okay. a hot take. Spicy. I like that. I like that. You're a believer in Derek Carr. I'm a believer in the ecosystem that they have over there. I think Derek Carr is I think he's a good football player. He's a you know, last year they showed a lot of mental toughness with the situations they dealt with all year. I think with McDaniels and, you know, De- Devontae Adams going over there. I went and watched them practice against the Patriots, and and they were smooth. They, he just was unreal. Yeah. And to see him, that's like – Derek Carr never really has had a number one receiver. They got Waller. They got Hunter Renfro, who's a stud. Like, their defense – their offense is really good. And then you got Chandler Jones and, and Crosby on yeah, the Yeah, I know. I line. forgot Chandler they got Jones. A young, they got – their linebackers are a little – Eh, but and their secondary is young. Will Compton will be there in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. playoff Willie. Wait, so, so I have a question about McDaniel's because you obviously worked with him. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, his first go around obviously in Denver was not great, a failure. It started uh, off good though. Yeah, for a little bit there, but it was. Didn't they start off six and zero? Yeah, I think it, so. And it also it felt like he might have had a little bit of the what he happened thirty four. Yeah, with the Belichick guys, yeah. where it's like, hey, I'm going to go in, I'm going to be Belichick. Do you think he's changed? Do you think like. Knowing him now that he is going to approach it differently the second go around? I think he's learned from that experience. Yeah. And, you know, probably for the last decade or the last eight, nine years, he's probably played that game in his head of being a head coach in certain situations or certain meetings with the teams or, or and I and things that he learned from the past I, I guarantee he's learned from and I think bringing over Dave Ziegler he was with uh the, the Patriots as their GM I think they have a really good relationship that's such a a, 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 a important relationship to have is that own uh is the head coach general manager relationship like you don't want guys that are sandbagging each other like these guys are together you know what I mean yeah so I think that's going to be a great relationship and he's a fucking smart guy. He knows X's and O's. And, you know, he's going to open up his offense. He likes to throw the ball. He, he didn't always – we didn't always get to do the stuff. You know, Bill wanted to run the ball a lot. We, 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 that's, that was our game plan a lot of the time. We got to run. We got to do that. You know, there's going to be some new stuff that we haven't seen from Josh like that he's that. probably had, you know, stored away because – no, he's the guy now. He can yeah. fly free. Yeah. He can fly he free. Can do empty it. the clip. Bomb it. You know, so, so it's going to be interesting. And, you know, his leadership skills are good. You know, he, he's learned a lot, I bet, from that first experience. Yeah. I mean, we look at, you know, Belichick had a, I'm not, and I'm not comparing fucking yeah. McDaniels, but Belichick's first, you know, go at it wasn't, you know, a success, even though they made the play. Like, they were doing good things, and that whole situation was fucked up. But, like, he probably learned from that. And then he went away from the game and, you know, you get a second chance as a head coach. You know, there, there's probably a lot of things that he said after his, his stint in, in Denver. Like, I wish I would have done this different. Or I, Well, now he's going to have that opportunity in all, in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. All right. Just don't draft Tebow again. That's really I mean, he what he has to be. He doesn't have to. He's got he's got yeah, Derek Carr. Got Derek Carr, Carr. he's a veteran quarterback. I mean, we're going to see this. And he's he hasn't – I mean – he hasn't really had a great, a great offensive coordinator around him. Yeah. He's been on a bunch of losing teams. He was with Gruden. Gruden was kind of doing that 98 ball. You know, like, we're going to see some, hopefully, some cool stuff. And Devontae Adams is And Devontae Adams incredible. is a monster. Yeah. Waller, Jacobs. They have, you know, they have, a, they got a really good I got some skill dudes. set guys. So yeah. what, what about the Patriots and what's going on on the offensive side of the ball? Because it looks like Matt Patricia is the coordinator now. Or are they going to have, like, dual – Offensive coordinators would judge sometimes, and then Patricia other times. Like, how how difficult has that got to be switching from being like a, a defensive coordinator for your entire career, basically, or on the defensive side, to now you're like in charge of the entire offense? Uh, well, that, that that's going to be a learning experience, you know. <laughs> it, it, 
the guy, I mean, he started, Matty P started out as an offensive coach. He, he started on the offensive line under Scarnecchio years ago. You know, and that's very common with Coach Belichick. He'd always cross cross train guys. If you're a defensive coach, he'd make you go work on offense for four or five years, and then you come over to defense. So, I mean, he's got a little bit of knowledge. And he knows the game of football. Matty P's a smart guy. Uh, it's just there's you know it, it's going to be a learning experience. Calling plays on the offense side of the ball is is very different. You know you, you're preparing for first and ten. All of a sudden, you know, you're looking at your play call sheet for second and five because you know you're probably going to get, you know, that second and medium range. All of a sudden, the guy jumps off sides. You're in first 15. You got to get your eyes back. And, like, that's a skill. Like, the rhythm of play calling and the relationship between the quarterback and play caller is a fucking – that's, a, like, a skill and, and, a, and a relationship that has to be on so many different chemistries that it's got to be crazy. They got to be able to finish each other's lines – like the night before the game when they're going over the call sheet, like on third down, the quarterback needs to say, you're probably going to call this, and he's going to say, do you want me to – you know, like there's got to be that relationship. So this is going to be a learning experience. I mean, and I don't know if it's Matty P. I don't know if it's Joe Judge, but, you know, it could be Bill. We don't know that. Yeah. Bill yeah. called fucking plays in 1995 with the Browns on offense. So That's what I was kind of thinking. Like it might just be Belichick running the show. And then he's saying that it's going to be these guys because he won't tell anybody. <laughs> he could do that. I bet you it's going to be a very big collaborative effort. Effort. Yeah. Which will be which will be on the lookout for uh, Mac Jones this year. Like, what do you need? Let me ask you this in a professional way. What do you need to see out of Mac Jones this year? <laughs> I just need to see. I need to see him build off of last year, and it hasn't looked very good in the preseason. I'm not going to lie. And he just doesn't look comfortable back there. He doesn't look confident as much uh and it's 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 hard to judge in preseason because you're going against such vanilla uh defenses and and vanilla looks a lot of the times they're just trying to get evaluation out of players like all right we know they're probably gonna call this we're gonna call this we're not gonna game plan for you know a scheme they could be holding that back so i i don't know but i need to see him go out and and be able to win a game and, and and last the whole season it looked a little bit like last year in the later part of the season, he was losing a little zip off his arm. So I wanted to see. I want to see if he, if he took this first off season seriously. Uh, and, and, and it sounds with the reports that he did. He's got and he, skinny. He got a little skinnier. He's probably taking a little care of, of his body. He's in the weight room. No I brownie hear. bites. No brownie bites. You know. What do you think about yeah. just a, a quarterback with the name McCorkle? McCorkle, who's that? That's Mac Jones. That's Mac His name's McCorkle. Is it McCorkle? Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you learn that, and you're looking at him sideways. Changes like, a little, little bit? I don't think you can win a Super Bowl with a McCorkle. McCorkle? What Mc- is that? McCorkle's like a great – he's like the data guy that? that's off to the side with the big, you know, fishbowl glasses. Or he's like, in, like, a, like a super old caddy at, at a British course. Like, yeah, you're going to want McCorkle on your bag. He knows how to read everything. <laughs> <laughs> McCorkle. Yeah. Yeah. Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, McCorkle will never win a Super Bowl. McCorkle Ooh. only has one DUI, not two. <laughs> Does he have a Dewey? Yeah, just yeah. one. See, just that one. that actually you gained a little respect <laughs> for. <him. laughs> it's like, I damn. Condone McCorkle. Hey, remember, remember my take? You can't have a guy that doesn't have any red flags. McCorkle. That's true. You need at least one that's red, a red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag if you don't have a red flag. Yeah. Didn't know you had that red dog yeah, in that's, you. That's a Brian, Brian Cox. You can't trust a man with no vices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. All right, so give me one more hot take. Um, Raiders West is is a hot take. I like that. I like the Raiders win in the West. Uh, Maybe NFC. NFC. Ooh. Ooh. I like Minnesota winning the North. Ooh. Okay. Kevin O'Connell. He was around. I was around him my rookie year. He was a quarterback on on the Patriots. Always a smart guy. Always knew X's and O's. Uh, I like. I like I like them. I mean, I think Jefferson is is outrageous. Like, outrageous. Yeah, that's a good Thielen way to describe him. Is really good. I think Kurt. I think he's gonna probably step this over the. I, I, yeah, it just, it's hard for me we, to say. Yeah, this it's hard for me to a, say. It. Yeah. I just don't. I, I think there's. A, I think there's a little trouble in in uh, Green Bay. Like so, it's not going to be Ooh, just an easy, like easy. This. You know, keep talking, north. To me, Daddy. Because. <laughs> They don't. I, who's their number one receiver? Yeah, their receiver. Yeah, Lazard. Stinks. Yeah, Lazard or Sammy and, and, Watkins. And he maybe Sammy Watkins. He's, he's had a lot of miles on him, you know. And and they didn't. 
the reports are saying that Aaron's been kind of frustrated. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. This is going to sound like true. a joke, but I'm serious. Like, he should take them to do ayahuasca with him. Yeah. If he was a real leader, he would organize a team retreat because he hates him right now. Like, he really does not like that room. He doesn't know who he's going to throw the ball to. Doesn't trust anybody. They got a good run game. They got a really yeah, good their defense. Their defense is going to be very good. Take them to Peru and just but they're always load good up against, on like, T. The Bears. Yeah. I yeah. Know. You know, the Bears don't really don't have an offense. They don't have That's anything. True. Yeah. Um, who, literally don't have anything. Give me one more team that was good last year that you think is going to stink this year. Ooh. Stink this year. Gosh, guys, put me on the spot. That's a tough one. Takes only. Let's. Uh, I, I I think the Rams are going to struggle. Yeah, I think yeah. The, I mean, I think the hangover is real. Yeah, and and sums up with Stafford's elbow. The elbow did not. That, that doesn't look good. Can we? What's a good word for? It? Does it look wonky? Does he have I a wonky it was, elbow? I said it was jacked up. It looks jelly. 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 Jacked up. Wonky. Yeah. Like jelly. Yeah. He, he's a little jelly. He got the sleeve on there. It's not like a cool Iverson sleeve. That's like a, that's there for medical. Yeah, treatment. that, that yeah. he needs that's that a medical to, sleeve. He's a, keeping it. It's keeping it all together. That's load bearing. Yeah. Sleeve. If, I, if he takes something. the sleeve off, he just becomes I, like hey, gumby. That's not a cool swag sleeve. Yeah, that's a something we got. Maybe have like a bandage under there. We're trying to hide or mm-hmm. stitches or. Okay, so last question, Roback question. Roback promo code take. Q-zips, what is Roback? Uh, Q zips. Good question. That's not the Roback question, but good question. It's Q-Zips, hoodies, polos, great gear. Incredible gear. We'll get you some. We'll get you some Pardon My Take Roback. We have Larry the Goldfish. Uh, Go to Roback.com. Use promo code TAKE for 20% off your first order. Rams. R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Promo code TAKE, 20% off your first order. Give us Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Soupies. Bills versus. Oh, he's going to say the He's, yeah, he's going to say the Bucks. Bills versus the Bucks. <laughs> but the Bills are going to win. Mm-hmm. Are, bills are winning it. Aren't you nervous that everybody's picking the Bills? Yeah, Literally I everyone's am. picking. I, that, that's honestly why I, I, I bet against them tonight. That never happens. I bet against them only because everyone... I was like, this, the hype is hype is too hot, crazy. It's disrespectful to do this on, on banner dropping night. That's what I was rolling in, in the studio. Yeah, fuck that. Bills just said, "Fuck me!" No, they they went in. They're they're looking good. They're yeah. looking strong. If they stay healthy, they're going to be a problem. Are are we forgetting about the Chiefs? Are we forgetting that Patrick? As a nation, are we forgetting that Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid are pretty fucking good? They're very good, but it's going to be you know it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see them without Tyreek Hill. Yeah, you know he, that guy opens up the field in so many different ways with that speed, like that intermediate passing game of. Of the Chiefs, why Kelsey gets all these awesome, you know, it's because there's no one, there's, there's a guy blowing the top off the coverage, meaning running so fast down the field, you got to take two guys on them all times. Yeah. When you lose that, it, it condenses the offense. And we saw it last year, you know, Patrick Mahomes struggled a little bit throwing the ball inside the pocket. I want, I'm, I, you know, I want to see over this next, you know, this first half quarter of the season if if he got better at those things because they're gonna have to do that he's gonna have to have these long methodical drives and a lot of people got on him last year for the hero ball you know what i mean he was turning those plays over yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how they do without tyreek yeah Mm -hmm. um all right so jules we appreciate you coming on your and their defense honey badger's gone yeah that guy's that guy's a glue guy yeah he he is is. i love him he's a glue guy for a defense that's a fact Mm -hmm. that's a fact um you're gonna we're gonna hold you to at least once a month this football season you gotta we got it you got we got to we got it. thursdays with jules is the best people love this shit we we talk ball watch the game eat some chinese food or if you're maybe we should pizza and chinese food fatty fatty should we do like a uh, maybe a healthy night one night? Yeah, yeah we could sure. salads. We'll just do Chinese and pizza. Yeah, I can't. No brownie bites, which no. you didn't. Well, even brownie eat. bites, but no caramel dip. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Meet we'll us get, halfway. I'll meet you halfway. Okay. Um, are you gonna I'm, stick? I'm a, we're gonna do fantasy fuck boys. I hope you brought one. I see. That's honestly, you guys want to know the truth? Yes. Yeah. I don't like that segment. Oh <laughs> shit. 
I'm sorry. Damn. Why not? What is it about I that actually, thing? Jules, I'll actually oh, no. defend you. I do think there are... I don't get it as much. Like, I oh, think there... You do, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think there's I'm some not, people... It's... Here's the thing is I, I... You guys used to do what? You guys did what? The, like the boy band one? Yeah, yeah, that kind I of cracked me up. Yeah. The fantasy there's, lad boys at one point. The lad boys. tried yeah. a bunch. To me, fantasy fuck boys is Island like... Boys. I think a lot of people love it. I think there are people who hate it. But to me, it's like it's three minutes long. So it doesn't... Like if you... Yeah. If you're like fantasy fuckboy sucks, like just skip ahead. But that's, also, you know what I mean. If also, it was like the whole show, I'd be like, yeah, that's fair cr critique. I, but I, I forgot to mention, I wasn't a fantasy football player either. Yeah. So now well, that this I'm in, isn't really now yeah. I got fantasy football. I mean, all. Uh, hey. So, Two of my things. Maybe that's like, why you don't get it. Yeah, I don't, you just get, don't it. get the joke. I don't get it. We don't. It's either. really advanced humor, so yeah. you probably it's, it's too you know, high level. It's above. We've you're been, a football <laughs> player, so you probably don't get the fact that we're just potatoes. doing Italian accents yeah. and screaming nonsense. It's also one of those jokes that we started doing. I don't even remember when or why, but we just you know yeah gotta, we just gotta started, play, You got to play the hits every now and then. You got, it hey. also brings energy to the studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch it. You're gonna watch it live. All right, before we get to Fantasy Fuck Boys, a quick word from our friends at Paramount Plus. Go to ParamountPlus.com to start your free trial and get access to your live local NFL on CBS game every Sunday, as well as additional exclusive content. The NFL on CBS is streaming live on Paramount all season long, kicking off September 11th. Watch your live local NFL on CBS games every Sunday at home on your TV or any device on the go. It's clutch, comes in clutch. If you're traveling on a Sunday and you want to watch your game, you can watch it on your phone, catch feature holiday matchups on Thanksgiving and Christmas, and three postseason games, including the AFC Championship game. This will be huge if you're going to maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas and you're worried about what the TV situation is, you have Paramount Plus, you do not have to worry. We're giving away one code for a free Paramount Plus account so you can watch along with us. Go to redeem a gift card on the bottom of the Paramount Plus website to redeem. We're putting a free Paramount Plus code right now on the YouTube bottom. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to YouTube and watching on YouTube. Someone just got a free code. If you miss out on this one, tune into the Lottery Ball segment. Go to ParamountPlus.com to start your free trial to watch your live local NFL on CBS game every Sunday, as well as additional exclusive NFL content. Like I said, make sure you have Paramount Plus, because then if you're on the go on a Sunday, heaven forbid you're not in front of a TV, you have your phone, you have your Paramount Plus, you're ready to go to watch football every Sunday. So thank you to Paramount Plus, and go again to ParamountPlus.com to start your free trial and get all access to your lo live local NFL on CBS game Every Sunday, as well as additional exclusive content. Also, Big Cat, they have Beavis and Butthead. And they have Beavis and Butthead. That's huge news. Yes. Okay. Let's do Fantasy Fuck Boys. Should we do it? Let's see you guys do it. All right. Fantasy Fuck Boys, week one. Do you guys get the music on, too? <laughs> no, 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 we put that as We used to. We used to. No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Uh. All right. <laughs> this, is, this isn't awkward at all now. <laughs> My name's Mario Daddario, my startup spit. Mario! Yeah, spittin', spittin', spittin'. It's the season to spit. <laughs> spit on your boy. Yeah. Spit on your friends. Fuck yeah. yeah. Spit on your co-star, spit on your girlfriends. What about God. your cock? What about your own cock? Spit everywhere, great lubricant, <laughs> fucking spit season. Hell yeah. Okay. Drink my, it, dude. My cinema is Christian Kirk. Oh, fuck that guy. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Your team old legs, guys trash. And my sleep is chilly. Yeah. I bought a crock pot. Yeah. I some meat. Fuck you. I'm going to try and make some chili this weekend. Fuck Let's yeah, go. you did, Stay Mario. Tuned. Yeah, Mario Make Dario. sure you put Big the Sunday bombs. gravy. Pray for Mario's butt. Oh, he's going to be pooping all day. Go ahead. There you go. No, you go. No, you no, go last. He goes no, last. No, 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 he goes last. No, 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 he goes last. No, you go. What's up, you dick suckers? It's Vinny Value Jet. What's up, Vinny? Hey, uh, I'm starting the Aquia Hava Patriot Day 9-11 brunch. You guys see the advertisement for that? It looked delicious. They had the Flight 93 redirect crab dip and the Pentagon pie served up hot. How about that? That's a real thing that they actually had. That was really weird. Stay for the Condoleezza rice pudding and the Building 7 Land Dip. My Sim, I'm sitting any conversations with John Cena oh, for the next month. Yeah. Dude, if you see John Cena, walk the other way. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. The Queen's dead. Don't talk to John. Johnny yeah, Pierce, fuck right. you, Johnny. My sleeper is Damian Pierce. This hey, kid gets it. Yeah. Sorry. What's he get? Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce, he can write. He can tote the rock. 
That's all you need. Damian That's Vinny. P- That's my sleeper. Give Damian Pierce the fucking football. Yeah. All right, what's up, you fuckheads? It's Vito Papachizo. My, st- my stardom is Jerry Seinfeld and his new kith line. He looks like he's about to go to a local high school and hit on some chicks. Jerry would never do that. He's a stand-up guy. Nah, speaking of pedophiles, my cinema is Prince Andrew. Oh. He's kind of fucked. His mom died. Who's going to take care of him now? <laughs> Shit. Hit him with the trio. <laughs> my sleeper, Russ Wilson. Who wants the trio? Give me some help. Who's the trio? The trio is Je- Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, fuck he him. sleeps with the fishes. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, my sleeper is Russell Wilson. He's going to go off on Monday night. Uh, pa- pa- Broncos, Paisi Calvacciamo. That was less right than Italian. What's up, son of a That was was Broncos. What's up, you sick fucks? It's Gio Garino. My stardom is Mike Kosicki. He's really good. I think he's going to have a breakout game. My sit him is Bill de Blasio. He's a fake ass Italian, and I'm glad he's gone. And my sleeper is Queen Elizabeth. She sleeps with the fishes. Oh. Rest in peace, Queen. Queen. R.I.P. She was was bad. So, how'd you grade that, Jules? (laughs) Don't answer. I get it. You don't get it. You're you, from the West Coast. You don't yeah, get you don't, it, bro. You don't, you don't get it. You don't get you it. Get it. You don't get it. You don't get Vinny buddy. Value Jet. Yeah. Hey, hey, buddy. You on culture, You don't bitch. get it, bitch. Hey, buddy. You fuck him. You need a Valley Girl <laughs> one. Be we'll, like, fuck, uh-huh. we'll fucking take a baseball bat to your Boston. car, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just had dinner in the North End, bro. I'm fucking but, full East Coast Italian out here. Fantasy Fuck Boys was brought to you by Curve. It's football season, which means you're buying beer, snacks, maybe even a new couch for the most premium watching experience. And whatever you're buying, if you're using a card for any purchase, big or small, you need Curve. Curve combines your entire wallet into a single card and app. With Curve, you upload your cards into the Curve app, and then when you use Curve, you can swipe and indicate what card you want to use. That's a great invention. I'm shocked that it took this long. I can't believe it's 2022 and we're just now getting Curve. This is fantastic. I cannot wait to upload all my cards to Curve. With Curve, you upload all your cards into the app, and then you can swipe and indicate which card you want to use, or you can decide your card for certain purchases with the Smart Rules feature. Maybe you want a specific card to cover anything over 100 bucks, while a different, more rewarding card can pay for groceries. It's easy. You just set it, and you forget it. Curve also gives you additional cash back on top of any rewards you're already earning on your other credit and debit cards. So make sure to go to Curve.com slash Barstool to receive 20 bucks in Curve cash once you've downloaded the app. Open an account and made a first transaction. So all you have to do, go to curve.com slash barstool and you download the app, you open an account and you make your first transaction to receive 20 bucks in Curve Cash. That's fantastic. Cur- terms and conditions apply. I cannot wait to use this. This is an invention that has been long overdue in my life. I'm going to download Curve today. I'm gonna start using it. It's football season. So if I'm buying beer, snacks, new couch, whatever it is, if I'm using a card for any purchase, I'm going to be using Curve. By the way, I have a, a stat I forgot to mention. Uh, speaking of the Queen, RIP. Someone, uh, this comes from Colton Smith on Twitter. Texas has never lost to Alabama when Queen, Queen Elizabeth is not on the throne. They lost to Alabama in 1902, 1915, 1922, 1948. Texas only lost, or that they beat Alabama then. Texas only lost to Alabama in 2010 when the Queen was on the throne. Interesting. Oh, Texas is back. Texas, Texas is back. back. They're back. back. This, yeah. All they needed was the queen to die, and they're back. Those things are related. Also, um, so Buffalo is the queen city. That's its nickname. They we know her. Cincinnati is also a queen city. Charlotte is a queen city. Mm, I think we got to we bet on all the queen what cities. What defines a queen city? It's they just, just call it the, they, that. There's yeah. just a bunch of, of different cities that are nicknamed the queen city. Yeah. Jay, can you look up and find out? What other Queen City? We need to know that going into this weekend. Yeah, real quick. This is very important. That. Queen is, City bet? Queen yeah. City bet. I like that. Also, I've made my game of the year Saturday night in memoriam to Queen Elizabeth. So if she is as big of an AWL as I think she is, she'll be helping Was. me. Angels in the outfield kind of thing. <laughs> There's like 30 of them. Okay. Okay. Just going down the line Which quickly. ones have NFL teams? Denver. Okay, yes. But they're playing Monday. Uh, but put it in the parlay. Okay. Buffalo. Okay, yeah. One. Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. Cincinnati. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. Seattle as well. So oh. we can't bet that one. Tie. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. That's tie. It. 
All right, that was it for NFL. Okay, okay. so we just we we do Cincinnati Charlotte parlayed with a tie. Parlayed with, with a tie. tie. Yeah, that's good odds. <laughs> that's really good odds. Hey, Jules, you want to pick a number just for fun? Because you never got to pick a number. Pick a number? Yeah. Yeah. Do, imagine which number you think Hank would pick, and then don't do that one. Zero to 100. Zero to 100? If he gets this, it's going to be awesome. This going to be so awesome. What is the who, who's Just who's pick, pick a number. number. Just pick a number. What's the number? Just you, any You're asking too many questions. Just pick a number. The number that's going to come I out. feel like I'm in the fucking Sesame Street. Oh, this? Now. What's yeah, the number? Yeah, yeah. You're oh, doing what's the number? Oh, 11. <laughs> What are you guys picking? Well, we, we already, already did it for the end. Five. It's just a bonus. Oh, no. <laughs> Hank just threw a five. Hank's never won 69. this. 69. We've had this for two years, Jules. Wrong. Is that 69? Yeah. 53? Oh. I think I guessed 53 earlier today. Fuck. 53? Yeah. Fuck. Time travel. You were close. What am I, Jake? Like 300? Yeah, so we've had, we've had, we've had this lottery Bro. machine. I bought this thing oh, from for China sure. for like three grand. Best investment I've ever made. Paramount um, Plus is on there. Yeah, they they sponsor. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, um, and we've all gotten it right at least once. Hank has not. Wow, is that I'm crazy? Two. Yeah, you get two. I've gotten multiple. Yeah, so that means two. Yeah, they've gotten four. Gonna yeah. Two. Four. <laughs> yeah, a few. Yeah. Hank has zero. Never got. Watch, it. watch, Hank. Guess a number. Watch Eleven. You. He's gonna get it wrong. He's gonna get it wrong. He gets it's, it wrong every he's time. He's unreal. At he's this. never gotten it right. I think statistically. <laughs> We could do this forever, and he'll never get it. Not even close. <laughs> not is, even. What is close. that? I don't know, but I know it's not even close. I wonder what the stat Ew. is. Like Fifty-eight. Not Ew. even close. Fifty-eight. Fifty. Hank. Not Hank, even close. Guess again, Hank. Guess one more. One more for the road. All right, Twelve. Twelve. I hope it's eleven. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He'll never get it. He can't help himself. It's insane how bad he, he is loves getting it wrong. Oh, I saw it. It's gone. No. What do we got? What do we got? 21. Ooh, it's a good number. The opposite. No. The opposite. 27. 27. Oh, it's hard to read these. Atwaters? Yeah. All right. It's Jules, coming. you're the best, man. Thank Appreciate you, Jules. You like the bills yeah, yeah. Thank of this you. fucking lottery moment. Everyone go download Games with Names. Games with Names. And we're going to be on an episode coming up. They'll probably never release it, but... No, we will. You, I think. I don't Definitely. even think they turned the cameras on for mine, so... Um, it there was, was a nice a, prank. No, they're, the ca the cameras were broken that day. Yeah, so, but Games with Names, awesome podcast. He's had Eli on, Peyton on, PFT and I are coming up. Who else is on? Brewski was on. Brewski, we've had Vic, we had What, what game did you ask Vic about? We talked what, about his event. college. His oh, college. Nice. Tech. Nice. Yeah. Yes. So, Electric. yeah, check it out. Very cool idea. Just awesome Sports memories. Sports history podcast. Yeah, fun. with it's the fun. people who lived it. People who lived it, people that... You know, celebrities like yourselves. No, we're not. Big players. time, big time yeah. celebs. I'm actually in the player category, even though I didn't get any minutes in that game. Yeah, I was on the team. You were on the bench, right? Yeah, but I mean, the bench counts. Hey, hey, it counts. Yeah, that's. I mean, look, you know, you were on the bench for a long time. Uh, special teams. <laughs> 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 Gotta make them, baby. <laughs> Before we get to the weekend preview, it's brought to you by our friends at Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Download the Game Time app, go to the account tab to create a login, and redeem code PMT for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Okay, time for week one. You just heard us talk about Thursday Night Football, but week one is finally here. Football is all the way back. We're going to do it like we did last year. We're going to go through the board. We're going to talk about each game. Everyone's going to pick an underdog, uh, favorite, and over and under. And at the end of the season, we have a punishment. So mm -hmm. before we do our picks and discuss week one and give a preview that is always wrong, this is this is the part of the show in football season. Like I love doing Monday shows. Friday shows, I'll get to Sunday like around like six o'clock and someone will tweet me being like nice call dude i'm like wait what dude, did i that say was, that was two days yeah, ago. like huh give me a break okay yeah yes yeah, i don't even remember sorry saying i missed that. my call last year did it's, you a, hear it's a what have you done for me lately league right now so as far as i'm concerned if you listen to friday's show on sunday night that's on you you're a fucking weirdo yeah did you did you hear uh, my brain is starting to escape me but um do you remember donnie brasco of course did we ever interview him? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't remember that. Yeah, recurring guest. Yeah. I Actually, completely forgot Hank that. told me about that <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah. But that's, it was just that's like completely out that, of my mind. That's Actually, it, it's a testament to Donnie Brasco 
if you're undercover in the mob, True. you should be able to forget that guy's face and move on. From they him. can't if if they it's, ever come up to me like, hey, who's that Joe Pistone? I'm like, never heard of him. No, don't know him. Yeah, Omerta. But I'm actually just being honest because I my brain just lost that fact. Yeah, we would be great in the mob just because of all the uh, all the damaging things we've done to our brain over yes, the years. Yes. Yes. Um. All right. So punishment. Everyone could chime in. We got to decide what the punishment is. It should be a punishment that people don't want to do this. Don't want to do. I, I I've gone very hard. Don't want to do. I do think that if we want to add a second place element, that did that was very fun. Um, does anyone want to start? Anyone got an idea to start us off? I I got one. I, okay. I think it'd be fun if uh, the person that came in last place had to get addicted to cigarettes. Ooh. So okay. you have to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. Oh, geez. For a month. Okay. I think that'd be fun. Okay. Just get somebody... Veto. Somebody smoking. All right. There's his veto. You use your one veto. But... All right. No, I, I think... I don't think... I don't think Jake gets a veto on that. Well, no, Jake, no. Because, no, Jake, we could do something different with you. He... No, he used his veto. I think someone has to... The loser has to adopt... It should be the same for everyone. Well, I was going to say the loser... Yeah, it has to be the same for everyone. He gets... A, everyone gets one veto. So, now that you've used your veto, Jake, I'm going to say the loser has to adopt uh, St. Bernard. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that'd no, be the, cool, right? I mean, I, hmm. we're going to run into the same problem as last year. <laughs> Me and Billy are absolutely going to yeah, tank No, that. that was a joke. That was just a joke <laughs> about his him being allergic. Yeah. Just take the ACT or SAT. Classic. That's a classic. I have, I have a couple. If, what about... Okay, yeah, keep going. Okay, uh... uh Wait, let me, get, let me get back. All right, okay. okay. So take the SAT or ACC, <laughs> ACT. I also had take a college class and you have to pass. So if you don't pass, you have to retake it. Okay. You have to keep taking it until you pass. Um, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Now, are you I think allowed we to do, do that? Something that can I just enroll in a class though? Like, could I? Can like could be I, a part of? Hang on, on. hang on, real quick. Hang. Could I? I enroll in like Rutgers, and yeah. they just let me take one class? Yeah, I think so. I think you could just do that. Can I take get like my master's one year course? Oh, yeah, so now I'm you're sure. trying to expand. These are just ideas. <laughs> I'm throwing them out. I have a ton of ideas, Hank. We we will we'll have. <laughs> I had look. I have a ton of ideas. I I had the take and pass college course. Someone has to wear a puka shell necklace for a year. Fuck that. PFT would lose on purpose. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh shit. I didn't even realize you were wearing that. Um, I'm bringing it back. Eat uh eat your weight in chicken wings, and you can't eat any other food until you eat your weight in chicken wings. Hard to follow. That's actually pretty healthy. That's a video. So so how many how so how much like, does like fifty chicken wings weigh? I, I don't know, but that, this is just an idea. Like, you have to basically, you can't have any other food until you've finished your entire weight in chicken wings. Okay. What happens when you go home? What do you mean? Like, from work? Yeah. You can't you have eat. To, you have to yeah. post every meal that you eat. Yeah, you can't eat. You have to just keep eating chicken wings. And it, it actually shouldn't be, it doesn't have to be weight. It has to be, like, however much you weigh. So, like, I'm weighing uh, 240-ish. I'd have to eat 240 chicken wings. So, we're not going to weigh them. Oh, so it's just oh, yeah. the amount of yeah. wings. Okay. But that's a lot. You can knock that out in a week. Yeah. So basically, you have to eat chicken wings for a week. Mm -hmm. But you, you can't... You're you're done when you're done. The okay. other The other food challenge I had was last place... So let's say, just round numbers, first place has 50 wins, last place... You know, I think we did a half a win for a push. So let's say first place has 50 wins, last place has... Last year, Hank had 42 and, and Billy what, had 35. Okay, so 42, 35, Billy was last place. He'd have to eat seven hot dogs every day for an entire week. So whatever the distance is, and then second place also. So what was second place? 40. So they'd have to eat two and a half hot dogs every day for an entire week. Hmm. These are, again, I'm just throwing out ideas. Yeah, yeah, no, None we're, of these, I have a ton it. of them. So I, I had one that was uh, the loser can't watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm not the doing that. The loser, veto, veto. The loser, would. you can listen to it. Vito. Yeah. Okay. Going going down further with this, you could have uh, Joey from out and about describe what was happening in the Super Bowl to you while you were I'm in the same it. room. Well, we can't do it. They could. Well, no, we have to have it be the same for everyone because we you have, have to do to, the show. Or you have to listen to it in Spanish yeah, that and would figure be out the what's worst going on. Part of my take after. Um, com the loser has to complete the entire NFL combine. Yeah. Billy, Billy, Billy wants that. to do yeah. it. Yeah. Billy that's that's cool. Wonderlick. And the Wonderlick. Yeah. High key. Yeah. Billy no, everything. That. Um, and can we get someone to interrogate, the, like do draft questions? Yeah, so all right, that one's off. What about Billy wants to do it? Loser has to get a full panel STD test and publicize the results. <laughs> so if you got if you got HPV, oh, Billy or, does not want to do this. You got one. HPV Vito, or herpes. Use your veto, Billy. No, use no, your no. veto. Use your veto. You know what? There's no shame in it. Uh, I had loser gets bit by a snake when we're in Arizona. Uh -huh. 
Non venomous. Non venomous. Billy okay. again. This Billy. Okay. Billy likes too many of these things. Okay. What about? All right. This one. This one really sucks. Loser and Billy. Billy would probably be the best suited for this, but loser has to complete a marathon in an actual marathon with no training. That sucks. Sucks. That's a really bad one, and that would be funny. Wait. What do you mean with no training? Like you can't. You can't like do like distance training and shit beforehand. Yeah. Like you have to just show up. To Amer- we'll actually find That's the best way to do it. We'll find like the closest. We'll figure out what the the closest marathon is because they run them all the time in like small towns and shit. And we will enter you into the marathon like immediately after. What's the time limit on that? Like, do most marathons just close, or can you just keep going until it's over, like until you're done running? Yeah, no, you could like you could walk part of it, but you have to complete the marathon. All right, let me see upcoming I- marathons in Arizona. Someone has to. I mean, this one's bad. Not exactly the best climate to do it in. Well, either. in the winter, come on, it's winter. Yeah. It's yeah. a dry heat anyway. Another one was someone has to spend a weekend homeless in New York City. Ah, mm. that's kind of that will get will get canceled for that. What like surviving like that yeah, guy? That's like cosplaying as like a homeless person. Okay. Well, my first idea <laughs> was survive in the wilderness, but I thought you guys would be like. Meme That's said, too winnable. Meme says that the loser has to apply. Yeah, you dominated that last time you did that. <laughs> oh, I did. That's why I got voted out. <laughs> Meme said the loser has to apply to go on The Bachelor. Ooh. Like, make, make a full application for that it. That one's pretty bad. Um, you guys wait. wouldn't do that, though, if you guys I would. got in. I would do it. The Bachelor? Yeah. yeah. Just be like, I'm married. I got two kids. <laughs> I'm here to fuck. My idea, <laughs> my idea was uh, something along the lines of, like, a live stream where it's 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 maybe like minimum 12 hours and then it's like depending on you know if if there's if the viewers are subscribing in real time and the number goes up that tax on like an extra whatever 10 20 30 seconds and the stream can go upwards of 24 hours and there's like maybe a we do like a wheel or some type of selection of things where it's like there's a very limited amount of things you can do you're in a room with a very small amount of things you can do for that 12 hours and that way it's like something people can watch along for. And then if they want you to stay in and like make the stream last, then the viewers have some power themselves too. And it's like a, it's a 24 hour, potentially a 24 hour mm-hmm. stream. You're, you're thinking content. You're thinking I, like exclusive content. What if, what if there was a stream and you had to stay on the stream until you shit yourself? Too easy. <laughs> yeah. uh, what if we did Waffle I, House? I don't hate that one, but what if we, it was like we made like one of those white padded rooms that you like? There's nothing in it. Solitary so, like, confinement. You just watch watch someone lose their mind for 24 hours. Well, and like yeah, they can and, sleep, and but they do, don't have a phone. They don't have a book. They don't have anything. And they don't. They can't see the chat. They can't do anything. Yeah, I mean that would be that would be hellacious. Uh, by the way, I looked up. There's a Mesa Marathon the Saturday. The the so it would be like nine days before the Super Bowl, February fourth, in Maricopa County, Arizona. Half marathon, full marathon. Half marathon, <laughs> full marathon. I'm vetoing full marathon. There is a f- wow. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets one. Okay, all right. There is a half marathon. I'm. I'm it would just be so fucking boring to do a full marathon. Yeah, these are all these are all shitty things. Waffle House challenge where you have to eat twenty four waffles. Or I think I don't want to. I don't want to steal from somebody. Yeah, else. Yeah, I don't want to steal from someone. Other else people either. have done that one before. Here, okay. Here's a couple more that I had. I um, like the idea though, Billy. I don't. I just don't want to take from because yeah. that went viral last year. Was with some other. I forget what it was. It was like yeah. a podcast or something that did it. Um, loser has to get a cat. Uh, Ooh. I'd easy. be down for that. All right, here's, as long as everyone else has to do it, I'm 100% yeah, down. Yeah, here's a couple others that I had. You guys wouldn't do it. Loser has to run for public office. <laughs> they can decide what they want to run for, but they have to earnestly run for public office. Like, that would kind of So suck. that would suck because <laughs> there's, depending on where you ran, there is a chance that you yeah, can right. win and then you have to do that Correct, job correct. Or resign in disgrace. You have to earnestly run for public office. So you can't be like, uh, like half-ass. Like, we would judge you. And if you did, if you... Maybe maybe if you didn't, if we ever thought you weren't earnestly running, you have to do like the solitary confinement. You know what? Fuck it. I'm bringing back the bull moose party. <laughs> I mean, or, it would be yeah, you do the sol- or solitary confinement, but the, all you have is like a giant puzzle, and maybe that's the. That could be good. I I think if we're doing solitary, we got to go. True Just solitary. True solitary. Well, like, yeah, but like people are going to be somebody, watching, and it's like. What about. Give them something to. Here's a couple others. Watch. I guess not. Yeah, no, I mean, I like that idea. The, that's definitely at the top of my list right now. Uh, loser has to pay for everything Super Bowl week in pennies. 
So they just have to mm. carry around an entire bag of pennies everywhere they go. And if they want a cup of coffee, they have to try to pay in pennies. That would be just, funny. Just not buy That anything. would be very yeah. funny. I feel like that's rude to the businesses where Well, yeah, duh, to. but... Good point, Jake. Money's yeah. money, Jake. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one's really fucked up, and it would take forever, but I think it would be funny. Loser has to uh, beat Kareem's all-time point record. Uh, so we just put him in a gym, and they have to score... 38,388 points. I love that. And the, and the second place. But here's here's a couple idea. here's here's a couple here's here's two things that really suck for it. You can't you can't shoot in the paint. Oh fuck. So you can't take layups. And the second place person has to rebound. Yeah. Or no, maybe the first place the second place person gets to shoot, the last place has to rebound. I think it's more frustrating if if it's last place has to shoot. No, I think it's way worse to rebound. Could you imagine rebounding for that long? No, the, I think the mental torture of just of missing all those shots over and over and over again, because you also feel like you're responsible for the guy that's rebounding at that point. I, I think I think it'd be very boring. But oh, I think rebounding would be so mm, much worse. So thirty-eight thousand points. What so if it was like uh, the, that? Would take forever. Forever. That would take forever. The other forever I had. Um, loser has to. Uh, get 10,000 uh points in bowling. So I did the math. It would if you sh if you averaged 150 each round, uh you would it would take like 24 hours. 24 hours of non-stop bowling. <laughs> non-stop bowling. I, Our I arms love would those fall. Two ideas. <laughs> Our arms would actually They're pretty fall. good, right? Mm -hmm. Those are pretty good. At hour 16, can we start using the kitty ramp? No, no bumpers. No, no bumpers. bumpers. You know the kitty ramp? Yeah, I know the kitty ramp. Oh, I'm what we could do, we ramp. could combine those two. Second place gets 12 hours to see how many points they can get in bowling, and that will come off the, the points of Kareem. I just think that... I don't think the Kareem one is... It's not, it will take forever. I don't think it's doable. <laughs> it would be think, so funny, though. <laughs> I mean, I we you could, you could stretch that out, though. Yeah. But bowling would be funny because it would basically be like you have to go to the bowling alley. You cannot leave until you have ten thousand points. Hmm. So yeah, like I said, I think I did the math right. If you averaged one hundred and fifty each time, 10, I'm a huge 000. fan of of the bowling and the basketball. I think the basketball one would just take it would take weeks. One hundred fifty, sixty six. So it would be sixty six games of bowling. That's oh not that God. much. I no, mean, it would it's take doable. probably 15 minutes. Yeah, but the fatigue's going to set in. Divided by four. So it's, it's, if, you, if, it, if you did 15 minutes, it would take 16 hours at 150 a clip. So, but what about that's, the what about the Kareem? What about the basketball one? For bowling. The basketball that one, one I feel like forever. would take basketball weeks. Basketball, you had hundred threes, you're only at three hundred. I, I think that's I think that one is just too ridiculous to the point where <laughs> I love that one though. I, yeah, I agree. I, I think I would quit. Again, these of doing are that. these aren't are all great ideas. I was mm -hmm. just I was brain dumping torturous punishments. I like the basketball and the bowling one because it kind of combines with mine, where it's like that could easily be live streamed. It's like you're yeah. just, you're just live, how, people just watching you try and score. All right, let's figure out the basketball. So let's say so how many how many like let's say you're shooting free throws. You can't shoot in the paint. How many do you think you would make in like an hour? I don't know. I can't even begin to estimate. Maybe maybe fifty. Wait, 60? way more than that. No baskets. So you're not rebounding. No, someone else is rebounding. So I don't know. Maybe like a hundred. I'd think it'd be more, right? I don't if play you're basketball. An hour, so. Yeah, if you're shooting layups, you can probably get up. Let's you can say get 400 shots up. Yeah, you if you can shoot. If, or sorry, if you're shooting free throws, you can probably shoot uh, free throw every five seconds, right? Yeah, but that slows down too after a while. Of course it does. Yeah. So all right, I'm just gonna do. Someone else have an idea they can throw out there. I'm just trying to do some quick math. Five. The seconds. last 15 minutes of practice was 100 free throws. 19,000. My other idea so was like do. something, uh, since we're going to be in Arizona, like some type of like kind of to Billy's too. Like you have to be in the desert, survive yeah. in the desert for 12 mm -hmm. hours. I, I was, that was what I was you have to, about. you have to take peyote in the desert. Well, Jake's, you can't, you guys are doing stuff Jake's never going to do. Jake, w would you take peyote, Jake? No. Go on a spirit quest? No, but I feel bad if I'm holding everyone back. Yeah. Um, How about Colorado River Toad? Toad? What about, what Toad about Venom. the. The Grand Canyon, something with the Grand Canyon. But I think I think just having Jump to like it. walk across a desert for twelve hours is pretty fucking bad. That is bad. Like a get home, drop them off in the middle of nowhere. 
I kind of like that. Yeah, you could camp that was, overnight too. It was what I was thinking. That like, was get yeah. a tent and act- and like actually camp and like build a fire and shit. You have to sneak over the border. Oh, yeah. you get dropped off in Mexico and <laughs> have to and awesome. have to sneak have to get back to Arizona. So if you made fifty percent of your free throws and you shot one every five seconds, it would take you fifty three hours to beat Kareem. <laughs> yeah, I think that's <laughs> so many. I think bowling's more realistic. Yeah, than b- that. bowling's definitely more I realistic. I know, again, it's I a just great was idea. Doing, I was just fucking I, I thinking think, of, I think it's a possibility, but we need to we need to change yeah, the target on yeah, it and yeah. say like uh, I don't know, who's got the most points in college basketball history? Uh, okay, yeah, that's probably Kareem. Yeah, 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 that's true. Most points, college basketball. But Hitchhike to the Super Bowl. Hitchhike, you'd probably want to do that. But yeah, what do you think about uh, getting dropped off in Mexico and having to sneak <laughs> across the Arabic, border into the United States? I think that would that might go under the cosplay thing as okay. well. Um, but I mean, I don't hate it. Uh, it's actually probably too easy. Oh yeah, it's way too easy. Yeah, right, yeah. Billy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you did, if you combine the bowling and what's the, pistol, PJ and Kareem, thirty six sixty seven. Thirty six, sixty seven. That's. I mean, that's. That's way more. That's. That's almost too easy. That's way too easy. Um, we could combine the bowling and the shooting. So, like I said, you do. Someone has to. Second place has to bowl for twelve hours, and then you take that off the total. Mm-hmm. And then the the other person has to shoot for till he hits till he beats Kareem. Hmm. Thoughts. I like the idea of having them joined in the same punishment, though. Like yeah. ha- making it easy to explain and being yeah. like they have to do the same thing. That it's a good. I like the basketball. I would almost say like if we can find a different point total to hit. Yeah, ten thousand points. Kobe, what's Kobe? Joint solitary confinement, 24 hours. No, that would... That oh, would. my God. Murder. Because the second place, I think, has to not have as bad, but still bad. All right. Well, we have some ideas. So we, I mean, do we want to decide right now, or do we want to... Do we want to make a decision right now? Tell you what, let's let's also open it up to the AWLs. Okay. If they have any suggestions for what the punishment should be, let us know. I think the 10,000 uh, points in bowling would be pretty funny, and it would be about 16 hours... So you would basically just have to be there for an entire day. We find a bowling alley that will stay open, mm-hmm. and you just have to. And maybe the maybe the second place has to sit there and doesn't get to get doesn't get to bowl. And just watch, yeah, and just watch because that would suck too. Can you, you order just, food? Yeah, you can order food. <laughs> can you expense that food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, we have some good ideas. I I think bowling probably is up there. I the marathon you vetoed, but that would I think pennies. Pennies would be pretty funny. I might okay, so I might retract my veto on the marathon. Because, I just think because it be, it's not as bad as some of the other ones. You're right. And I think it would be pretty funny to have to go to the Super Bowl and run a marathon uh with no training. Yeah. Um hmm. Okay. All right, well let's 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 table it and we'll figure it out because it's not you know, there's four games we're picking right now. So nothing's gonna really change. We'll hear what people say. Maybe we'll Maybe we'll finalize it to four and put it up for a vote next Thursday. Yeah, that sounds good. That's good. All right. But just right. just know that we're going to pick something that everybody will hate will hate to do. Yes, exactly. Like, they have to be dreading doing it, and it will just suck really, really bad. That's why I think the rebounding is should be last place, because it really would. If you have to stand there and rebound and you can't shoot a ball, like imagine just being in a room with a ball and you're not allowed to shoot it. Yeah. That will drive you insane. That, w- that would be bad, but I also think that the person that's shooting – is going to just that's going to weigh on them to be like it's on me to get us out of this room. Yeah. You're going to go through some cold streaks and it's going to feel like you're going to be trapped in this room forever. Yeah. I'll I'll crunch some numbers on the basketball. Maybe we'll change it to a, a number that uh is like they have to pretty much shoot 50% for like 18 hours or something to get it. Yeah, what's um what are LeBron's LeBron's pretty close. That's LeBron's what about just his playoff points? Yeah. All right, we'll we'll figure it out. Um let's do some picks. Let's do some picks. Does anyone have anything that they like to, at the top, just so we can tell people? Like, I guess marathon's a good idea. Marathon. I've gone from should, vetoing it to now. I think bowling. Kind of endorsing. I it. think bowling, marathon, basketball points that we can decide a point total that's that's reasonable. Bowling so, or basketball would be better for the the, the viewer. Yeah, I think a marathon would get boring for a viewer. Yeah, They're just watching us walk. Should we um, just do that? Should we just say? It's also how do you film a marathon? Yeah, desert. 
Ten thousand points would be a lot too. I mean, that would be. I'm gonna crunch those numbers real quick. So if I did that, ten thousand basketball points. Ten ten thousand basketball. And points. everything's twos and threes. Everything's twos and threes. Nothing in the paint. Maybe ten thousand basketball points, and you can't, and you ha you have to shoot like ten feet away at every time. Yeah, I'd be shooting threes. Seven. Yeah, I mean threes would analytics, right? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'd ever get out of that gym. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play. I don't play <laughs> basketball. I mean, what do you want? It's what like, if we made like half court, like ten? Sure. <laughs> that would, that would, I mean, that would suck for the rebounder. Yeah, that would be really bad for the rebounder. What about paintball firing squad? Oh, I yeah, paintball <laughs> hunt hunt someone in a paintball. Oh yes, they yeah, can't. They I don't get a like, gun. I think like uh, I think longevity is what is truly like the dreadful part of this. Like a quick. Uh, punishment that like a paintball firing squad would would be temporary pain, but like something where it's like I don't want to do this, and I have at least ten hours still before I could possibly even be done with this is much much more of a punishment and like something you don't want to happen. What right? about like a paintball firing squad? It's like all right, I lost. I'm gonna suck it up, take these paintballs, and then it's over. Ten hours, most dangerous game, hunting a person. Wait, Ten like hours. actually, that the like, the loser gets hunted. The loser gets hunted. What about by the rest of us? Rollerblading from San Diego to Los Angeles. Mm. I like that one. Mm. As a duo. By the way, the basketball. If we did what? Oh, go the, ahead. The the loser yeah. in second place had to bike around. tandem bike yeah. around New York. Mm. Ooh. Wait, is it going to be raining? Yeah. If it's it on a Friday and it's raining, I don't. It might that, be. That raining. would be tough. The the trails get muddy. Did did uh. Did the Chicklets do that? Did Grinelli do that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he did a city bike. Rollerblading. He did a city bike. If we yeah. did 10,000 points in basketball, it would take about six, like 15 hours if you shot ha if you shot 50%. I like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty good. You think we would shoot 50%? I don't know. I would shoot what, higher. I mean, 50 what, from free throw is like it's not. Yeah, 50 from free throw. Yeah. What if the the loser has to has to write a book and Ooh. get it published? That seems like you want to do that. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not good for the viewer. Yeah, for the consumer. For the reader. For the reader. Yeah, nah. but I feel like they want to see us struggle. Yeah, Hank, use your veto on that. Veto. Okay, <laughs> uh, cat pet. <laughs> it's a million times easier for you to write that. All right, all let's. Of us. Yeah, let's do. I think bowling right. or basketball. Yeah, bowling or basketball. I think we can combine them too. I'll, I'll think about it more. I think it's something where like. The second place person has to bowl to get a point total off of the, because actually it would be even more torturous if the last place person had to rebound for themselves. I also don't don't hate the idea of the live stream in a room with like solitary confinement going on. Maybe, but with maybe one thing that you can do. That would uh, that would really dr okay. <laughs> Nice. What? Bonk. Put it on the list. Also, if we're going to have two people, should we have the bottom two do it? Because we couldn't root for our picks until like the last week. I like the second place like is the second, chaos. Uh, but it's not enjoyable for the first 15 weeks. You right. Know? But then it gets chaotic. Yeah. Very chaotic. But like you could root hardcore for your picks through a whole season. Either way, I think we have some good. I think we have some good options. Yeah, but then if you're up by like five games, you're not worried about it. We'll, it's fun. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Fun. Yeah, that's we'll fair. tweak it. We'll tweak it, and then we will put it up to an AWL vote next week. What What about the loser has to go all the way around the world without using a cell phone? <laughs> that sounds... How do we do the podcast? To, to record. Well, you don't use a cell phone to record the podcast. Basically, you just have to take uh, like three flights on a like weekend. That would suck. Yeah, I mean, I would if I did that. I would. I'd be gone for a month. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, true. That's what would be funny. Like, Hank would yeah, no, yeah. Like, like that's, I'm, Hank I'm not opposed lost. to that. I'm just like full, full disclosure. If I'm going across to Europe, like I'm, I'm gonna. Also, gonna Hank go would just sleep on the plane, so he'd be fine. What if you okay? You have to go around the world. You can't use a plane or a phone. <laughs> that would take so long. Just boats and trains, baby. I mean, I'm down for that. Like, see you that later. That would take so long. Right. Actually, I'm just talking myself into another. It's a road trip again. Yeah, yeah, that's another Except road trip. Except a cooler, maybe yes, yes. all-time road trip. Way cooler road trip. <laughs> All right, well, we'll put it up to a vote. We have some good ideas. We'll tweak them to see. Because I think it's like it's got to be in that like 12 to 16 hour, 12 to 18 hour range where it's like enough time, but it doesn't, it's not so long that people will like be like, this is so stupid. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's do some picks, though. Let's do some picks. We'll talk about all the games. Uh, let's start with our favorites. I love all the underdogs this week, by the way. Yeah, there's only one favorite that I like. Yeah, there's. I think this is the most 
underdogs that have ever happened in a week one since 1978. So I think there's 11 uh, underdogs this, or, or, or sorry, home underdogs. Okay, home underdogs. Yeah, obviously there's I was gonna 16 say there's underdogs. 16, yeah, home underdogs since um, 1978. Like the the board is just littered with home underdogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hank, you want to start with your favorite? Sure. Max is in this as well, obviously. So, and if the line changes, I'll, I'm using the live Barstool Sportsbook line, so I'll correct. Okay. If All right. Great. Perfect. My favorite, I'm torn between two, but I'm going to go with our guy, Jameis, Saints, minus five and a half. Okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a lot of points on the road, but I like it. Also, this Against is the two. start. Falcons. 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 This is the start of Jameis attempting to be the first quarterback ever to defeat every bird team in mm-hmm. a season. Yep. He's got the opportunity. If it flies, it dies. Jameis Winston taking on the bird gauntlet. We're going to keep updating that as the year goes along. And I yes. think week one with a new quarterback, like you just never know. Like yeah, that could be a complete disaster. I actually have the Falcons, but yeah, I can get to my reasoning when we get the underdogs. But I, I do think the Saints are going to be like I. W- I don't hate the Saints to win the NFC South. I think their defense is going to be very, very good, and it feels like uh, they like. I mean, I, I've always I kind of shit on Drew Brees towards the end of his career, but if James can stay healthy for the entire season, like they have a roster. I also think that Sean Payton might be doing like some shadow coaching this year because of the way that he left, right? He left thinking that he was going to get the Miami job and he's probably going to get the Dallas job next year, but he was planning on coaching football this year. Yeah. And so he's still like very in tune. It's his predecessor like that. He hand selected almost that's taking over the team. I think, I think Sean Payton's still definitely involved in this. I can't wait to see the Kevin James movie about this in yes. like six years. Yes. Um, all right, Max, your favorite favorite. Uh, this is pretty easy. I'm going to go birds minus four Eagles minus four against the lions. Okay. Lions are the hard knocks darling. Everyone loves the lions this year. Underrated yeah. team, underrated team from everybody. Uh, birds are going to put yeah, but that I, on right away. I feel like, I feel like the Eagles are not underrated though. No, he's saying no, the, the the Lions. The, everyone's saying like the Lions are their dark horse team to be. Oh, everyone's yeah, saying yeah, the yeah, Lions yeah, are yeah, the yeah, underrated yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. I, I I get I that a little people bit. People are saying that. I've yeah, heard some, I, I've yeah. heard a lot of people like, and I'm not talking about Big Cat here, but I have heard a lot of people in the national media say like the Eagles. Yes, yeah, Chargers, are a good Eagles, pick. Yeah. Vikings. Chargers, Eagles, and the Vikings are yeah. the three this year. Yeah, that like too many people. And the Bills, but I yeah, mean, regrettably. Bills are the favorites. Yeah, but those are those are really the four teams that everybody's hyping up. Yeah, um, I, I don't fair. hate it though because I, I like your logic that everyone and I'm is rooting obviously for, very biased. I'm going to pick my. Does everyone's change, rooting for the Lions. Does it change your opinion at all knowing that the Eagles will be part of the can't lose parlay? No, Ooh. love it, love okay. it, love right. that. Okay, love it. We have conflicting parlays. Oh, it's going to be one. in your hungry dog. <laughs> hungry dog. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, PFT, your favorite favorite. Okay, my Lions favorite. Dark this one was easy. This one was easy for me. I don't know what you guys were looking at, but uh, my card it popped out at me. Titans minus five and a half at home against the Giants. I think the Giants are big stinky poop. Saquon. Yeah, I think they're big stinky poop though, and I think that the the Titans we have a bad taste in our mouth from them from last year in the playoffs. They were the number one seed. And they did play the most players in the history of the NFL on their roster. And they have Mike Vrabel. I don't think that Ryan – I've never said Ryan Tannehill is bad. I say that he is just, like, not as good as some people think that he is. Yeah. And he'll never be um, – he'll never be – what's the, what, are, what are the kids saying? He'll never be him. He'll never be him. Right? He's not Ryan Tannehill. He's never next up. He's, he's never, never next him. up. He's never that guy. Uh, he's never built different. I think he's definitely good enough. He's got some dog in him. Yeah, he's got like a little like a little boxer in him. Yeah, for sure. But Absolutely. he's good enough to beat the Giants, who I think are going to be very bad this year by six points at home. Okay, uh, my favorite is uh, the Broncos minus six and a half Monday Night Football. I just I feel like Russ is going to like. I know that obviously every game he tries, but I this is going to be a game that he's like, hey Nathaniel Hackett, like, can you please showcase me throwing it deep constantly? To prove what they're missing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Russ has been pretty pissed off about the Seahawks for a couple of years. Now. Yeah, we I, we had a debate. Uh, I can't remember what show, but do you think he's gonna get booed? No, no. Seattle loves I, him because I I don't Se- think so either. I've I've said no, but I've heard a lot of people be like, yeah, they should boo. Him. No, Seattle they love him because he's the guy that brought a Super Bowl Correct. to Seattle. Like Correct. no one else has ever been able to do that. Correct. And so that's what I I agree with you on that. Yeah, I he's have, got a pass for life. We have two Super Bowl returning revenge games this week with Flacco and Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Big wild. time. Uh, all right, Billy, your favorite favorite, the Colts minus seven against the Texans. This mm. is more because I think the Texans, you know, they've kind of been a dumpster fire last year, but I think the Colts are going to get up. 
pull their starter, put Sam Ellinger in. He's going to put <laughs> another touchdown on top. Wait, do you know who the starter for the Colts is? You uh, got this. You got yeah, this. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, you got the way this. that you I'm said on, that. Come on, Billy. Come no, on, I Billy. blanked. I you blanked. Got this. Uh, freaking Falcons. Yeah. Yep. 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 Falcons. Falcons. That the kid from I the know, Falcons. I know, but I just blanked. He went to high school in Philadelphia. He went to BC. Yep. Uh, no, Matty Ice. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Matty there Ice. we go, Billy. Billy. You had it. You had it. All right, Jake, yours. Mine is also a revenge game. It is Carolina minus one and a half against the Browns. Yeah. Baker and, is ready. And we were we, we saw memes, I think, sent that quote uh, yesterday, but Nick Chubb, when asked about Baker Mayfield, he's like, we all know Baker, so we don't know what to expect. Yeah, it's perfect it's encapsulation so of the Baker mean. Mayfield experience. <laughs> so I think mean. Jeff D. Lowe has a bet that he's going to put out. Um, it's, he's going to take a live line on this game, depending entirely on how his first pass goes. <laughs> so if, if Baker's first pass sails, if it misses him by like – four feet over the receiver's head, then Jeff D. Lowe is going to bet the house on, on the, the Panthers. Oh, on the or, sorry, on the, on the Browns, Browns yeah. that game. If it connects, then he's going to bet the house on the Panthers because that's how much of a head case Baker can be sometimes. Yes. His first throw gets in his head. I, I like that. Um, all right, let's do underdogs. Hank. A lot of underdogs. A lot of underdogs. I, I, like, a, I like a lot of underdogs myself. With you, Big Cat, I will have the Hungry Dog Parlay uh, plus like 17 units last year. I'm just going to take the biggest one, the Bears. Yeah. Seven mm-hmm. points week one is a lot. Frisky. Frisky. Trey Lance, there's, who, do, who there's knows? There's a lot of turmoil in San Francisco. Yep. Trey Lance, Jimmy G, you don't know what's going on. Seven point Again, week one, It's you never know where things are going to line up. You never th- know things how are going to shake up. Seven points is a lot in the NFL. I, I also think that... six and a half, I wouldn't take it, but seven seven's a lot. Yeah. You also don't know where you're going to get with the coach of the Bears. Right. Yeah. With Everflux, right? Well, no, it's, it's really... I know what we're going to get. It's not Matt Nagy. Yeah, like I w- watching them in the preseason, they were doing stuff where it's like, oh, they're they're kind of doing the small things correctly now. They're doing competent football. I don't. They're not going to be good, but I do think they're going to be frisky this year. Which means if the if they, if I'm right, frisky means covering a lot of spreads and maybe one big win where they were a seven or you know seven plus underdog. Did you hear? Like there was a reporter that asked Trey Lance about why he's not a captain, and the question was like. You ever look at your teammates that got the offensive captain and say like, "What are these bozos doing with the captain's mark?" He was like, "No, I, I know I don't think that my teammates are bozos." Like, yeah. what? That's a, it's such a weird fucking question to ask. <laughs> so but weird. but it does like make a little bit of sense to be like, "Hey, uh, you'd ideally like your quarterback to be the captain of the team." Yes. But that's something that Colin Coward. I can already tell you right now, Colin Coward's gonna be like, "He's not a captain." Yep. Can't trust him. Yep. Uh, yeah. Big time. Um. All right. Your underdog, Max. Um. I'm going to go with Patriots plus three and a half in Miami. Uh, I looked at the numbers. Dolphins are getting 65% of the public. That that was alarming. Three and a half is a good number. Belichick, this is kind of the fir- one of the first years. It's like, all right, he has his quarterback. He's had a year to prep with him. And they're being... I don't know. No one's really talking about the Patriots, and I feel like Belichick's going to get them going. Yeah, I yeah. was. I was also alarmed when you told me the the public numbers on that game. Yes, consider me alarmed. Uh, that's my pick as well. Is Patriots okay. plus three at the Dolphins? A lot of people are talking about the Dolphins' offense. Show me. Yeah. Show, no, don't I agree tell with me. You. Show me. I agree. You got to see it first. I need to, to believe it. I need to see it. Yep. Um, all right. So my underdog is the Falcons plus five and a half. Uh, one quick stat: divisional dogs week one since 2005 we're hitting at 61.7 percent so i'm just going with with that i'm writing the numbers on that i think that also uh, applies to the vikings and uh i don't know what other i don't think there's any other teams that are divisional home oh the texans as well the texans and the vikings are are also divisional home underdogs uh okay billy Go with Jets plus seven against the Ravens. Yeah, you I are. I got to open with it. Yeah, I you gotta, are. I, like, I, I already took them already, so I'm just going to go down with the ship if it doesn't happen. But plus seven, Joe Flacco uh, is said to have thrown a veteran ball to his receivers. Oh, That's nice. how he described the That's veteran some good ball. Stats. Yeah. A very catchable ball. Depends yeah, the way the they were describing it made yeah. it seem like his ball is better than Zach's ball. Well, it's just, it's just a veteran ball. Or the rookie ball will catch up. And one they're going to be emphasizing the uh, the – what is it? Contact after five yards. Yeah, like that was the thing that refs are, are told to key on key in on this year, which is just going to make 
it more annoying and there's going to be more penalties and that's right up Flacco's alley. Joy, he's he's yeah. the king of exploiting penalties. Joe Flacco is going to throw at least five passes that go 40 yards in the air when they should go 45 yards and then the receiver is going to get a pass interference penalty called uh, for him by the defender running into him as he's going back to get the ball. Yes. That's what that's what Flack Wilson does, baby. Yes. It's Flacco's team. I like it. I don't think that Flacco's like the guy that's going to be – I'll put it this way. If Flacco wins three out of four games, you kind of have to keep him in there, right? Yes. Ride the hot hand. That's what I'm rooting uh, for. I'm I mean, rooting for a little controversy. Well, I, I like Man, that. Man, I love Flacco. Milf. Wilson just needs time. He's got all the intangibles. He just needs experience and to get comfortable. And like being behind a guy like Flacco would be great. That's like Aaron Rodgers behind Brett Favre. Yeah, yeah. The um, I also don't really the wide receivers for the Ravens. I mean, they don't have Hollywood Brown anymore. Uh, Devin Duvernay, I think, is their or no Rashad Bateman. I think is their wide receiver one. Devin Duvernay is their wide receiver two. I want to see that too. I want to see what it, what that looks like. Uh, Jake. I'm going to fade Billy here and take the Texans plus seven at home versus the Colts. Mills Mafia, divisional game, seven points at home. Texans have the Deshaun thing in the rearview mirror. No more of a headache. I think they can win this game. Yeah. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I do like it. I like the division home underdogs. Uh, what were you say, Billy? Sam Ellinger. Homecoming you game. Didn't, yeah, you forgot about Sam yeah, Shit. True. When God he gets damn. in, he's back in Texas. He's yeah, going to be fuck. put in in the second half. Fuck. Uh, After that, the starter has to has to take a seat. Matt Ryan, I'm really bad with names. Yeah. I do like Damian Pierce. He's he's the PFT Eyeball Player of the Year, just Ooh, from nice. preseason. So nice. I, I think that he might he might find his way into our little Mount Rushmore bet sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Hank, you're over. There's two that I love, and just in the sense that like it, they just scream, this should be over. Who knows? I'll probably do like some type of bolt in it where I combine the two and just and and extend it. But I'm gonna go with my official pick as the Raiders and Chargers. Yep, that's mine as well. Fifty-two. Derek Carr MVP. Yep. I have have preseason MVP odds on him. Uh, and I mean Justin Herbert. Everyone loves the Chargers. They have Devontae Adams. Should just be points, 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 points. So let's root for points. Yeah. So this, I'm going to say something that doesn't make any sense at all, unlike normally. But uh, Derek Carr, he seems like a guy that should not exist in summertime, mm. in like hot weather. Well, yeah. He he's, seems he's like yeah. He only he's, got, he's vampire Jason. Yeah. He shows up yeah. in the fall and the winter. Mm-hmm. That's when I can see. That's when I uh, understand Derek Carr as being a human being. Yep. In the summertime, I just can't. I can't picture him if it's too sunny. Yeah. All right. I'm taking the over as well in that game. Max, what's yours? Um, I'm taking Steelers Bengals over 44 and a half. I'm a believer in Mitch. I think under a good Ooh, coach, comeback player of the nice. year, Mitch is going to come out firing, trying to show that he should be the starter. And obviously, going against Burrow, I think it's going to be a shootout. Okay, mm-hmm. feels so bad for Mitch. Why? Just the worst situation you could possibly be in. Yeah, but that's also because he hasn't been great. But well, yeah. he was three and zero on the Bears, got benched. I think right. He, I no, came I back, know. Brought them to the playoffs. Right. And then now he's in a situation where no matter how well he plays, people are going to want pick it. Correct. I think it's not it's not that bad of a situation. He's getting I would a say chance it's the to least start. Ideal situation you could be in. As he's a getting, starter. but he's getting the chance to start for a historically good team that's patient with people. I feel like it could be a lot worse for him. He just had. I mean, it's it's time repeating. Like he's he is Mike Glennon when Mike Glennon was named QB one for the Bears, and then Mike they drafted wasn't Mitch. A high draft pick. Right, but they drafted Mitch, and then Mitch was QB1 for the Steelers. They drafted Kenny. Pickett's also listed as QB3. No. No, copy Claire and paste Claire, error. Claire there's a copy, and pa- there's yep. a copy and paste issue that was a copy and paste issue. Remember Wednesday show? Okay, my bad. No, it's all right. Um, I mean, Mike Tomlin did initially list him as number three. Yeah. Yeah, that did happen. Uh, okay, what? Uh, where are we? Over. My over. Um, I've got Jets Ravens over. We okay. already talked about that Joe one. Joe Flacco. I think Joe Flacco. Yes. That's All right. really just holding my nose and taking Flacco. 44 and a half. All right. I have uh, Chargers Raiders as well. Uh, Billy? I like Browns Panthers 42. I think we're going to get ball grab Baker back. Mm. Baker in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, Kansas. Kansas. We're going to get that game. Yep. Yeah. I think he's going to go off. I think he's going to run up the score. I see points. I, I think they can put it together. I kind of think that both teams' defenses are a little loose. And uh, we could see some points get put up. Yeah, I like I, it. I, Baker is the one guy that I will probably always bet on in a revenge game. Yeah, because he does take it way more seriously. Yeah, he's very upset. Yes, yes. Uh, he's like he, Baker. If you went up to Baker, like you're mad. He 
like you're almost always correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jake, finish us off with the over, and then we'll do the unders, and we'll do Firefest. I'm going to go with Packers, Vikings, over 47. I think Rodgers comes hot out of the gate, gets his team in the 30s. Kirk Cousins is good for 17 points. Okay. So. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. hate that one either. I do think um, we're going to win every bet this year. The Packers are – they're. They're weird at wide receiver, aren't they? Oh, they've got like Sammy Watkins. Bizarre weird. Like, like Sammy like, Watkins is maybe the weirdest wide receiver in the league. Alan Lazard, I don't even know if he's healthy. Like they're it's a weird wide receiver role. Very strange. Yes. Yes. Uh all right, unders. Let's finish up with unders. Jets Ravens Flacco fucking stinks. Lamar Jackson has no wide receivers. That's going to be like a 20 point game total. That's mine as well. Hmm. And I agree with you. I think it's just going to be defense, defense, defense. And a lot of like frustrating Flacco like gets a first down and then then three incomplete passes. You're forgetting about his veteran ball. That's true, veteran ball. Uh, Max, you're under. Uh, I'm taking Falcons Saints. I think Saints defense is really good, and I actually think the Falcons might not score at all. So whoa, okay. shut out, <laughs> shut out. As long as it finishes uh, three nothing, I'll be happy. <laughs> uh, okay, PFT. I'm taking the under in. The Jaguars Commanders. Yeah, we didn't Ra- talk about this in Ra- game. John, Maryland. Yeah. The Honorary Lunder on behalf of the Queen. Carson Wentz Revenge Game. Well, yeah, it's a Carson Wentz Revenge Game against Doug Peterson. Well, no, the Jaguars and Doug Peterson. Oh, the Jaguars uh, bounced him from the playoffs it's last a, year. It's a double revenge game yeah. in that case. It's also the Queen's favorite team against uh, the quarterback that looks the most like her grandson. Mm-hmm. That's so a fact. that's kind of a revenge game, too. Um, me and Chaps do have a bet on this, just straight up. We're, we're creaming. We're getting creamed. Loser gets creamed in this one. Shave, full shave? Full shave. Oh, boy. I feel like he has a lot more to lose than I do. Yeah. I show up with a full shave, and they're just like, oh, who's that 12-year-old girl? Yeah, when I was Chaps say, does make it, sure you had the girl. Yeah, yeah. When Chaps <laughs> does it, it's like, oh, my God, what yeah, is that? No, it's bad. It's bad. He, when he gets creamed, it's it's lookout. Hide your kids. Mm-hmm. So under 44 in that game. I think it's going to be ugly. All right, I have that Jets-Ravens with Hank, uh, Billy, and Jake wrap us up, and then we'll do our Mount Rushmore as well. I got Bucks Cowboys fifteen and a half. Uh, I think Tom Brady leaving training camp. I mean, the offense can't be as in tune as him being at training camp. Uh, Todd Bowles is defensive coach. I could see the Bucks defense being pretty stern against the Cowboys. Uh, does Dak get it done with Ezekiel Elliott and get put some points up? Maybe, but I don't think. I he like gets these the headlines. I like these like headline questions. This is like yeah. a first take. Is Zach going to be able to get it done? <laughs> Am I getting Todd yeah, Bowles? Are you seeing coach? Gauge? Yeah. Who is has Dak going to be able to get it done this year? What quarterback has more to prove than <laughs> Dak Prescott? Coming up I next. Like I think yeah. that was a compliment. Yeah, no, yeah, that was. Right. That was. Those were good. Like, if I walk by a TV in an airport and it's like, is Dak going to get it done this year? Is, I probably am stopping to listen. Is Dak him? Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely <laughs> something Dude, I'd stop and watch. Greeny is definitely at some point this year. I'm calling my shot. He's going to say Patrick Mahomes is him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's probably going to try to force a Zach Wilson as him yep. after a good game. All right, last one, under. I'm with PFT, Jaguars, Commanders under 44. I think this is our best chance for a Gami in week one, 15-11 final. Whoa. We got Gami alert. Okay, walk Whoa. me walk me through how we get to 15-11 here, Jake. Five field goals. Okay. And then a touchdown. Have you seen the field in <laughs> Raul John, Maryland? Yeah. Going to be tough Fair. to kick off. And but a that's touchdown, uh, extra uh, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Also, I... I just realized that I'm just going against what I asked you to to get me ready for, Jake. So I'm going to change my underdog to the Cardinals because I did tell you all off season I have to bet the Cardinals in September. Yeah, I have the reminder again right, today. So I'm going to in that game we didn't Mr. talk about Cardinals Chiefs is going to be a very fun afternoon game. I will take that instead of the Falcons because I also just, okay, I'm just checking the, the line after uh, Max five and a half. I I know it's stupid, but like Max being like, oh yeah, the Falcons are going to get shut out. I was like, oh yeah, they probably are. Yeah. Is, um, <laughs> Is Very JJ Watt gonna play? I don't know. He's hurt, right? Yeah, he's got that rattlesnake, that no baby Hopkins. rattlesnake in his in his uh, in his bathroom. Wait, really? Yeah, do you remember that? He 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 went to take a shit one morning. There's a baby rattlesnake. He was tweeting about it, being like, "Does anyone know what to do with a, a snake in your bathroom?" Yeah, probably try to find the mother rattlesnake. Yeah, well, someone had a great reply. They're like, "Just pull up your pants, dude." Uh, for those of you who don't know, woke up this morning, went to the bathroom found a baby rattlesnake uh, in the corner of the bathroom, curled up in the corner. I'm from Wisconsin. I uh, don't have a lot of experience with snakes. Uh, a couple garden snakes here or there, a couple in Houston, but don't know a lot about snakes. Don't know how to handle snakes. Not a big fan of snakes. When I got down here to Arizona, everybody said, you know, watch out for the scorpions and watch out for the rattlesnakes. 
You know, you live close to the mountains, there's gonna be snakes. Monsoon season brings out the snakes. Stay away from rattlesnakes. Babies are the most venomous rattlesnakes because they don't know how to handle their venom. They shoot it all in their first bite. So I got all this stuff in my head. So I call a guy. I mean, I don't know what to do. So I call this guy and uh, he comes out to the house. And he takes a look at it. And he just picks it up with his bare hands. And he goes, ah, oh, it's not a rattlesnake. It's a long, long nosed snake, completely harmless. And then he left. So, if you ever want to feel like a wimp, that's the way to do it. That's good. Baby rattlesnake. Yeah. Yeah. I retweeted that that's one. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I just say my fire fest and then leave? Yeah, you can. Of, well, let's do Mount Rushmore no, real quick. We have to do our Mount Rushmore, right? Who the, who are the picks? So every, every week on Sunday... There will be a pardon my take bet in Barstool Sportsbook exclusives. It's four runners to go over 50 yards. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the odds will be, but check it out. Bet with us. Barstool Sportsbook under exclusives. Give us your your go, Hank. Tell us who you have. Saquon. All right. PFT. Okay, so we're trying to do it for uh, Sundays. Sundays. Right? Sundays. For Sundays only. So in that case, I'm going to go with uh, Najee. Okay. I'll do Austin Eckler. And then who do you guys have? This is going to be great, too, because if one of us fucks up the whole bet, we will obviously use that to blame them and belittle them and mm -hmm. basically make fun of them. Yeah. Okay. DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift. Okay. If he doesn't get arrested. Yes. Okay, Billy, we talked about a bunch of games there. Uh, give us some, some prices for some of these games that we talked about. Well, the Ravens at Jets is $51, and that might be one I might steal this weekend. We okay. got Patriots, Dolphins. You know, a little more expensive at 109, but Did still. Did Billy just low key great. say that he wasn't going to come in? Yeah, no, he was Sunday? trying to get out of work. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's uh, the ticket price. It is. That is that's, I mean, that's a great entertaining deal. Clients. Yeah, you're entertaining clients. Yeah. yeah. So, what else? Give me the Chiefs Cardinals. Chiefs Cardinals, we got. 102. 102 wow. bucks. That's not bad. Speaking of bucks, bucks of Cowboys, $48. Wow. That's it. That was the biggest surprise Damn. of the worst, but Cowboys of, fell of off. Tickets out there. That's great. All right. So download the Game Time app. Some great ticket deals out there. They're the exclusive partner of Barstool Sports. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create login and redeem code PMT for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time. Last minute tickets, lowest price. Guaranteed. Thank you to Game Time. You can go to Bucks Cowboys Sunday Night Football for less than fifty bucks. So go download that Game Time app. And thank you again to Game Time, our exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Before we get to Firefest, PFT, you had one quick ad. Yeah, our good friends at Visible want to talk about the greats. We're talking great games, great plays, great wireless. Visible keeps upping their wireless games, so we are going to keep talking about them. Visible starts at just thirty bucks a month for a one-line plan. Taxes and fees included, no family plan needed. That means you don't need four other people to get a $30 a month plan with taxes and fees included. You get unlimited data and hotspot, which means you can stream what you want from pretty much anywhere. It's all powered by Verizon. And now they have a new plan that includes 5G ultra wideband and global calling. So you score a premium network experience. You can set yourself up for a wireless win. Join Visible. Switch today at Visible.com. 5G ultra wideband and global calling available only on the Visible Plus plan. For data management practices, learn more at visible.com. Additional terms apply. Okay, let's let's wrap up with Firefest. So go bet that. That will be those four. DeAndre Swift, Austin Eckler, Najee, and who is your, your pick again? Saquon. Saquon. So all four of those guys have to go over 50 yards rushing, and you will hit the Mount Rushmore bet. I'm excited to bet on this. Everyone follow along. Um, let's do Firefest of the week. Hank, why don't you get us going? Uh, my fire fest is that I'm a, I'm a corporate suit and I'm I'm late for a meeting, so I'm gonna have to leave this recording and probably just get roasted while I'm not here. And you guys are yep. continuing fire fest. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what's your number as you walk out? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. J I mean, I, Jake's in here, so I know you guys won't fuck with me. That is um, true. It is great having Jake around to just being like he is just because like I know you he's guys integrity, would try, but it's like he I would just look him in the eyes and would know if you're telling the truth. Yeah, like, he's walking integrity because you know that like I would absolutely be like if you hit it, just everyone would be like, don't tell him he hit it, or he didn't hit it, and everyone tell him he hit it, and Jake would just crumble. I think if we if we asked Jake to lie about it, and we even threatened him with his job. 
he would just he, he would devolve. Yeah. He would develop a rash. No, he, he wouldn't would be able to look anybody in the eyes because he'd be keeping the secret too long. He would just take the sword that he keeps underneath his desk and seppuku himself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Six. Like, I can't lie. I'm dead. Six. Six. Okay, I'm writing that down. All right. Uh, PFT, your fire fest. Uh, my fire fest of the week is that I am now approximately a hundred hours without zinning, mm. and it's. Such a dumb decision. I don't know right why I decided to do this. I, I left Lake Charles, which is, by the way, went back to Lake Charles over the weekend. Fantastic. The Liberis Casino Barstool Sportsbook was incredible. Um, but I forgot to pack enough Zen for the road, as you've heard on this podcast for the last couple months. Um, we're, we're, Zen, we're Zen enthusiasts. Yes. Is the best way to put it. And uh, I didn't pack enough for the trip back. So by the time I got back, I was about... A day, you know, 24 hours without zinning, I figured, like, let's use it. Let's use this momentum and see if maybe I can quit zinning because I was doing it a lot. And uh, it fucking sucks. I'm getting, like, headaches, jaw aches. My my uh, my mouth is salivating at all hours. I can't sleep at night. I woke up in the middle of the night and I watched fucking tennis Oof. last night because it was something Brutal. to do. I was fucking watching tennis. That's, and then I, I wouldn't f- wish that on my worst enemy. No, I felt like I needed a cigarette afterwards. Not because it was good tennis, but because it was tennis. I, I wanted to die. Yeah, it was I wanted tennis. to die faster, so yeah. I wanted to smoke. Um, but it was, it's been bad. It's been very tough. And I don't, I've reached a point where last night I looked at my Zen and I'm keeping like a 10 of Zen on my coffee table just to be like, I'm better than you, Zen. I can defeat you. And I was looking at it, I was like, why? I don't understand why I'm doing this to myself. I could just Zen and it would be fine probably. It doesn't give you lung cancer. Yeah. Why am I, why am I quitting doing this before football season when it's the most stressful time of year? But I feel like maybe I'm close to that hump, so I'm going to try to stop. So that's my fire fest. Is I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm driving myself insane because I'm quitting something – for a reason I don't fully understand, for a benefit I'm not sure I'll ever fully realize. Yeah, but that's good. You, you got this. I'll support you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to support you. Um, my Fire Fest, so we're taping this early. Well, obviously, we did the uh, beginning of the show after the game, but at uh, 5.30 tonight, I have the first ever like formal uh, like parent-teacher conference kind of thing that I have to go to and I'm just dreading it so much like I have to be there with other adults and like sit there and talk about like God knows what I'm just I don't know what I'm gonna do like it's just gonna suck so bad because it's one of those situations where like you see uh, I see other parents I'm like oh yeah that's a parent but I'm not a parent yeah and then I gotta go I don't know what I'm gonna do I always feel like parents are in their 50s you're right and it's just it's gonna it's gonna suck like I'm gonna have to sit there we're gonna have to go through weird shit do the meet and greet like the whole thing is I'm dreading it I'll let you guys know how it goes but I don't think it's gonna go well for me are there any unexpected issues like are they gonna give your your kid grades I don't know like he needs to no work idea. on his sharing I don't I yeah I don't know so it's I'm, I'm not looking forward to it like he's finally going to school like six hours a day starting on Monday so it's uh yeah it's going to suck. What are you going to say, Billy? PTSD from parent-teacher conference. Yeah, like I... I, I never got good reports. These are the yeah. first things <laughs> no that, shit. like, I don't really want... I don't... I want to opt out. I want to opt out of these parts of, of being a dad. Um, but I can't because I'm being supportive. The worst thing is if one of your behaviors was... Oh, he's do. got all my behaviors, dude. I've already, I mean, he he he's the biggest procrastinator ever. I'll be like, Jeez. you want to do this? I'll be like, tomorrow. It's like, yeah, that's right. You're my fucking son. <laughs> we always have tomorrow. <laughs> How big of a deal would it be if you just didn't show up, though? Uh, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It just would, I don't know. I do want to be there, So, but I don't want to be there. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's a fire fest. I don't want to be there, but I want to be there because I want to be you know, around, but I don't want to be there. And also, it's right before football. Yeah, so I'm just gonna bad be timing. Like, Let's hurry up. Football's Bad about time. to start. A few moments later. Okay, quick update for the Firefest. Uh, you just heard me say that I was worried about going to the parent-teacher conference. I just got back. Parent-teacher conference was fine. Mm-hmm. Um, the teacher's in love with you. No, no. I mean, probably, but no. Uh, <laughs> no What's no, his name? Def- definitely not. Uh, the issue was I was rushing to get home. To get there in time, uh, and I was going to be late. So catastrophe did you, on did the you, on the way home. Did you sh- no, poop, I had poop. to piss myself, and so I had two body armor bottles in my car, and I filled up both of them. 
and I also dribbled all over my pants. Like, mm-hmm. legit, like, the biggest circle. Right, Not like a, oh, he might have spilled something. Like, a straight-up circle pissed my pants. What color pants were you wearing? I'm wearing these. It was these, not oh, yeah. these exact ones, but Some the nice ones. I have two pairs of these. It's always a nightmare. I changed into the other pair of these. If you've got, a, like, a light shade pant on yeah. and and the circle that you're talking about it just it's a bullseye and people can do the math and be like that's where the end of his penis is so yeah exactly so i i uh i was i blasted the ac right at it i was i had a towel i was like rubbing it i got in there it was definitely still visible and like the first thing they were talking about was like toilet training mm-hmm. and <laughs> like how to use the bathroom and i'm just sitting there with pissed pants so that part did not go everything else was great but yeah, that was like a, are you really responsible enough to be a father? You can't even stop peeing your pants. But you know what they say that, you know, if you learn a new skill, um, you only really master it when you can teach somebody else that skill. Yeah. So you're about to master it as you teach your son yeah. to not piss his pants. You're going through it at the same time. I think that's kind of cool. It's yeah. like, you remember when you were in like middle school and you started taking algebra and your dad had to relearn algebra to help you out at home? Yeah. That's kind of what you're doing with the pants pissing. Thing right. Going on. Exactly. So I'm just, uh, yeah, it was, I walked in, I was late. So I walked in, it was fully crowded and I just. Had piss on my pants. So, that's fine. Yeah, that, everything else went well. So Mark Schlereth would be proud. It's yeah, football season. Everyone knows I pissed my pants. So that's the update to Firefest. Um, now we have Billy, which, yeah, keep listening. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, all right, Billy, your Firefest. Mine's probably the worst Firefest I've ever had. Um, it's the worst thing that can happen. Like, Wait, it's you, not got, actually you got dunked serious. on. Yeah, no, this is this is way worse. Okay. What about when you just didn't show up for work and, and got suspended? Honestly. Yeah, that was a pretty bad one. That was bad. I'm, Jake just gave the subtle little, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. this is bad, guys. This what is about when bad. you forgot that you had to pay taxes on your rough and rowdy money? That was bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was, that was, I much rather. What about when you got caught stealing Valor in the airport? I never did that. Can we actually stop? Like, that's like. Well, we're oh just listening. God. We're just, we're just yeah, setting the table never for happened. the people. I never actually stole Valor. Right. Let's just get that on the table. Mm-hmm. You passively. It's like the quiet quitting phenomenon. No, well, now people you say quiet, thank you for your service, you and quiet. I don't know what to say, so I'm yeah. just like, thank you. you quietly <laughs> stole Valor. Um, so I turns out there's no such thing as chiggers on Long Island. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, what? Yeah. So it turns out I must have stepped on... On a Lone Star tick nest. Or you have monkeypox. And Ooh. I got bitten by a bunch of Lone Star tick larvae. Oh. Which, the good news is, it doesn't, the, the larvae don't transmit limes or any tick-borne diseases, but they can give you an alpha-gal uh, Hell yeah. allergy. Oh. So is that like a girl boss? <laughs> no, that means that's alpha-gal <laughs> is in all red meat and dairy. And I... I might be allergic to red meat and dairy for the rest of my life. Oh my god, that, that would be the funniest incredible. thing ever. No, Billy goes vegan. Worst. John I have Sally to, was I have right. I go vegan for a month before I get the test. Wait, you really do? Yeah. Well, let no, me see. Your, is, let so, me what happened to Carnivore Billy. Sundays? I can't do. I can eat chicken, I think, and fish, but uh, it's the worst thing like ever. Let like, me see your feet. That's Billy. pretty bad. They're let terrible. Me see the bites. The bites are terrible. Oh I yeah, mean, you got you got that larva in you, boy. Yeah, I mean, it's actually like, like. I might never be able to eat red meat again. He's about to cry. Yeah, that's, Billy, that, that's tough. What about pork? Like, no pork. Oh, Pork's no, white meat, God. though, no, is it? Like, I can't take supplements because the gelatin, oh like, capsules. Oh, my God. I feel, you know what? I feel I'm like rooting so hard for a positive test. Th- this, this almost this seems too perfect. It seems like somebody, <laughs> the worst yeah. thing ever. somebody from Anonymous that listens to this show created, like, a fake WebMD just to get Billy concerned about this because it's hitting every single thing that you don't want to do. This yeah. is in it gets worse with exercise. Yeah, wow. And Dude, alcohol? You're, you're going to get fat and sober. Yeah. And I think there's also it takes a side away of, all your redeeming qualities. You die if you don't show up to work on time? Yeah, no, but like <laughs> literally like God gives his hardest challenges to his toughest soldiers and we get through this. But you're not silly valor. Yeah, you just well, called yourself a soldier. Just want to make sure. No, but like this is the worst <laughs> thing ever. Yeah, no, that's really so bad. If you've ever Lone Star Tick, if that's you've, awesome. It's literally I contracted veganism. I'm so <laughs> so happy. But like seriously, if anyone's ever been bit, like I don't know what percentage of people who get bit actually get it. I'm terrified. I think it's a hundred percent hit rate. Like if any of you have ever been swarmed by these ticks, please. I need some 
guidance here. I'm reading about Lone Star Ticks right now. You know what sucks, too? All you had to do was just be a little bit better at Frisbee golf. I know. Because you just were living in the woods. Actually, if if Jake didn't hog all the bug spray, Jake turned you vegan. Which you guys clowned me for using. Yeah, Yeah, but you But you hogged the bug spray. No one else wanted it, so I'm going to take it. And Billy couldn't use it to defend himself. Mm. Many people are saying, I'm you assuming, Jake, earlier, that, that you gave Billy Lone it. Star Tick disease. You you gave Billy veganism. Wow. It's, I'm it's so, like, this is such a no, great like, that's, that's the, the most worst That's ever. the most alpha move that you can ever do, Jake. Oh, man. Is turn Billy into a vegan. Yes. Wow. <laughs> God damn. The, like, I, I am so happy. Like, Nothing. Will be, <laughs> I just want that no, on the record. But nothing is going to be the same if that happens. Yeah, right. Exactly. But you that like, right? Who you are right now won't be who you are in a month. Which that's the part I'm happy about. We should order like barbecue on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing carnivore Sunday. It's still on. Alpha Stakes. gal syndrome. Hell yeah. That's See, so funny. When, it's alpha. When you gal say too. alpha gal, like I was like, that's awesome. It's a, it's like a breeder. Yeah, that's great. Damn, Billy. It's a recently identified type of food allergy to red meat and other products made from mammals. In the United States, the condition is most often caused by a Lone Star tick bite. Oh. The bite transmits a sugar molecule called alpha-gal into the person's body. In some people, this triggers an immune system reaction that later produces mild to severe allergic yes, reactions yes. to red meat such as beef, pork, lamb, or other mammal products. Wow. This yeah, is great. Billy, it, let me see that picture. Billy, I would I would say sorry, but you would know that that was hollow. Like I'm not gonna, we're not gonna pretend. It's the worst. Oh man, I, I like yeah, I, that's what you have. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I don't know what I, I don't. So I no don't red do. meat for a month. Well, yeah, and hopefully, like, I don't know if I should just say fucking eat red meat for a month because it's the last time I can. What would yeah. be, what would you could die? Well, if you prevent, like, it might kick in in a month. It might kick in in a year. Right. So would you die? Uh, if I go into anaphylactic shock, yeah. Eat the red meat. <laughs> this is like, I like don't know what to do. But you've you've definitely eaten red meat since you got the tick bites. Right. Yeah, but you're still it doesn't alive. kick in for like a month. Okay. So yeah, then that you So like you're supposed to stay away for a month after eating it. To get the test. Yeah. I think you're fine. No, Honestly, I'm I terrified. I know. I'm terrified. You're terrified of alpha gals. Yeah. Scared yeah. strong women. Wow. It, it, Billy actually does not make eye contact with Erica whenever she's in the office. No, no woman really. Billy's <laughs> Billy is. Ter- well, I also there don't two make things eye contact that with Dave. You don't make eye contact with money either. Yeah, money and women. <laughs> never, he'll never look them in the eye. Uh, all right, Jake, finish us off. And mine's not nearly as bad as Billy's. It's well, we'll sorry. be the judge. Okay. Uh, so I grew up living in Florida. Loved roller coasters. Uh huh. Over the weekend, went back down to Orlando. Went to Halloween Horror Nights with my cousins and my siblings. I'm nauseous from roller coasters now. Oh, oh no, you felt motion sickness. One ride. I used to go like five times in a row. It was oh my bar mitzvah God. theme. I loved it. Wait, your bar mitzvah th- th- your universal. I'm so sorry, oh, awesome. Now I go on once. I feel like I was going to puke. I'm so sorry. That's horrible. It's tough. That's by far that's the really worst. It's like the end of an era. Because you know? That's terrible. Jake, you, you love roller yeah. coasters. Right. It's like your favorite thing. Right. And, and to have that them. taken away from you, that's... Oh, yeah, it's not for me. I'm either. sorry, Jake. Jake, is there anything that we can do to make this easier on you? Like, yeah. maybe, what about like a virtual reality roller coaster no, experience? I'm, good for that? I'm rooting for you, you, Jake. I hope you can go back on a roller coaster. Yeah. That's so, so Please, still a good time, but please let me know. No, that's, I got no, dizzy. you're underplaying it. That is tragic. Let's start yeah. a GoFundMe for Jake to help <laughs> him deal with his inability to go on roller coasters. Yeah. That's, that's bad news for the show because on this show, you know, we all have our interests and things that we love and care about. And we operate at our at our peak when we're really accelerating into those things, right? And immersed in those things that we love so very deeply. And to have roller coasters taken away from you, I just That's, I don't want it to affect the show it's, at all. It's I'll be okay. Moment mm-hmm. of silence for Jake, real quick. Okay, hopefully that heals it. That Thank was you. I, I. Do you want thoughts? I don't even know if I want to do this show anymore. Do you want thoughts or prayers? I think Billy. You should direct them to Billy. Mm-hmm. Wh- which one? Both. No, 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 no. Wait. Billy's fine. We'll give Billy's Billy. Fine. Yeah. We'll give Billy. Th- Thoughts and then give you prayers. prayers yeah, I feel like yeah. prayers are more important. Right. Than thoughts. Okay. Yeah, prayers you, to Jake. You, yeah. No. Yeah. You need that. Okay. okay. You need that. Prayers this to Jake. Tragedy. Think about Billy. A true tragedy. And how it's hilarious <laughs> that he's a vegan now. Um. All right. Let's wrap up the show. We got. Uh, boomers are coming back Monday, week one. Everyone get excited. We're gonna do the uh, lottery ball machines. Brought to you by our friends at Paramount Plus. Go to Paramount Plus, start your free trial, and get access to your live local NFL on CBS game every Sunday, as well as additional exclusive content. 
NFL on CBS is streaming live on Paramount Plus all season long, kicking off September 11th. We're giving away one code for a free Paramount Plus account so you can watch along with us. Go to redeem a gift card on the bottom of the Paramount Plus website to redeem. Uh, you can also see in the graphic we're giving away right now on the YouTube. So go subscribe to YouTube. Go to ParamountPlus.com to start your free trial to watch your live local NFL on CBS game every Sunday as well as additional exclusive NFL content. Numbers. Hank has six. Should we put that back? Or? Yeah, sure. 77. 26. 50, oh. 56. Oh. 3. I'm going to go 53. Whoop. Wait. I'm going to go 99. 69. I might become allergic to that number. But did you hear Jake and the roller coasters? What if Billy catches that thing from Liar Liar where he has to tell the truth all the time? Oh, man. That would be way worse. 94. Uh, would you pick Hank? Six. Oh, that's way off. Way off. 94, seventh time. Wow. Now third, tied for third place. Wow. Carl Nassett. All right, we'll see everyone on Monday. Enjoy the weekend of football. Love you guys. Um, Lone Star ticks don't give limes.